because a bad. So I'm mad, you know. Most of our pictures are not here. Some of the pictures are children. We are not supposed to watch them. Yes. Are you nini? Boy, no. I'm mad, you know. Oni. We a friend I'm mad. The picture I'm going to show you is not here. God, God. The picture I'm going to show you is not here. What bad premises are we? No, no. So as you can see, rolling on. Boy, a bad boy. So capitation was a uh, was a uh, uh, hard, tough, mm. and wickedness uh, 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 policy. As, as it stands now, what would you say? So we are we are. So now the capitation has gone. Yes, and the capitation has gone. All the roads now we have tackled about eighty percent now. Mm. All the we are doing it now, and now the education also is moving on. Mm. Now we are building the airports. We are building the airport. The airport, for no. instance, was started under Mahama. In fact, they completed the first. No, no, phase. no, 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 no. It's going to. We are going to destroy everything. Mahama used uh, 29 million US dollars to build the airport. Okay. But when we came to Maybe assess today. it, Maybe it was today. it was four million. So now, at the moment, we are building ultra modern airports. We are talking. We are not. We are not talking about kitchen airport. We are talking about airports that anybody can can travel. We have opportunity to travel to so many countries. Okay. You, you see, not house. We are not talking about house. We are talking about airport. Airport. Okay. You see, so now MPP is building an airport. Once we, we finish, everybody will see the difference mm. about airport. Down to the floor. Let me tell you what happened. The 1.2 billion, when the new road fund board took office, was not there. What was not there? The money that was contracted, the loan, mm -hmm. they took it, they didn't disperse it. Uh -huh. So what happened to the money? It can't be found. Ah, Richard, hold on. Your government must be a very useless government. And that is my problem. I have a problem with the government. must be a very, very... I have a problem with the government. government must be a very, very useless government. I'm heading towards it. 1.2 billion. <laughs> 1.2 billion. I'm getting there. <laughs> they must be a very, very I, useless government. They must be. And I have a problem with them. That is why contractors do what they are doing. One point three a single alleged act of corruption leveled against any of my appointees is being or has been investigated by independent bodies such as Shrabs, the CID, and in some cases by Parliament itself. Indeed, two appointees of the executive are still facing investigations. It is refreshing to note the none of these agencies has ever indicated any pressure from the executive over their investigation. The big wigs included the general secretary of MPP, the regional chairman of the Asante regional chairman of MPP, Wuntumi, Charles Bissu, even the minister himself, all have concessions. And some of the confiscated excavators it's not only excavators, but included SUVs and pickups. And some of, we the MPs even have some of the pickups, MPs from the other side. And that is quite embarrassing. Then, if you breach the law, and somebody takes advantage of you breaching the law, to also breach the law, then you arrest that person. If the minister had kept this excavated under the custody, of the police he's following the law but in this case he didn't follow the law and as a result constituency chairman regional chairman now have the opportunity to take part in the uh, vanishing and sale of this excavator who do you arrest
the big wigs included the general secretary of MPP, the regional chairman of the regional chairman of MPP, Wuntumi, Charles Bisu, even the minister himself, all have concessions. And some of the confiscated excavators is not excavated, but included SUVs and pickups. And some of we, the MPs, even have some of the pickups, MPs from the other side. And that is quite embarrassing. Then, if you breach the law and somebody takes advantage of you breaching the law to also breach the law, then you arrest that person. If the minister had kept this excavated under the custody of the police, he's following the law. But in this case, he didn't follow the law. And as a result, constituency chairman, regional chairman, now have the opportunity to take part in the uh, vanishing and sale of this excavator. Who do you arrest? You are a bat. Some of them don't. Most of them pictures in the area. Some of the pictures in the area. We are almost what you are doing. Yes. Are you nini? Boy, no. Ahmed, no. Oni. We a friend Ahmed. The picture back. We are moving to soon. God, good. The picture back. What you are doing here? What bad premises are we? No. The best thing is that I am not in charge. As you can see, rolling on the screen. This is the boy. We are bad boy. So capitation was a uh, was a uh, 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 hard, tough, and wickedness uh, uh, policy. As, as it stands now, what would you say? So we are we are. So now the capitation has gone. Yes, and the capitation has gone. All the roads now we have tackled about eighty percent now. Mm. All the roads we are doing it now, and now the education also is moving on. Mm. Now we are building the airports. We are building the airports. The airport, for now, instance, was started under Mahama. In fact, they. The first no, 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 it's going to, we are going to destroy everything. Bahama used uh, 29 million US dollars to build the airport. Okay. But when we came to Asasi, it, it, it was 4 million. Mm. So now, at the moment, we are building ultra modern airport. We are talking, we are not, we are not talking about kitchen airport. We are talking about airports that anybody can, can travel. We have opportunity to travel to so many countries. Okay. You, you see, not house. We are not talking about house. We are talking about airport. airport. Okay. You see, so now, MPP is building an airport. Once we, we finish, everybody will see the difference mm. about airport. Down this law. Let me tell you what happened. The 1.2 billion, when the new road fund board took office, was not there. What was not there? The money that was contracted, the loan. Mm -hmm. They took it, they didn't disperse it. Uh -huh. So what happened to the money? It can't be found. Ah, Richard, hold on. Your government must be a very useful government. And that is my problem. I have a problem with the government. government. must be a very, very... I have a problem with the government. government must be a very, very useless I'm government. I'm heading towards it. Billion. One point two billion. I'm getting there. <laughs> this must be a very, very I, useless government. They must be. And I have a problem with them. That is why contractors will do what they are doing. One country and single act of corruption and leveled against any of my appointees is being or has been investigated by independent bodies such as Shrads, the CID, and in some cases by Parliament itself. Indeed, two appointees of the executive are still facing investigations. It is refreshing to note that none of these agencies has ever indicated any pressure from the executive over their investigation. The big wigs included the general secretary of MPP, the regional chairman of the Asante regional chairman of MPP, Wuntumi, Charles Bisu, even the minister himself, all have concessions. And some of the confiscated excavators it's not only estimated, but included SUVs and pickups. And some of we, the MPs, even have some of the pickups, MPs from the other side. And that is quite embarrassing. 
Then, if you breach the law, and somebody takes advantage of you breaching the law, also breach the law, then you arrest that person. If the minister had kept this excavated under the custody of the police, he's following the law. But in this case, he didn't follow the law. And as a result, constituency chairman, regional chairman, now have the opportunity to take part in the uh, vanishing and sale of this excavator. Who do you arrest? Because you're back. Some of you know. Most of you know. Some of you did take charge of them. We in our most of the time, yes. Are you nini? Boy, you know. Eh, I'm mad, you know. Who ni? We a friend I'm mad. The picture back. We have found two so many cases. God, God. The picture back. What time did I hear? What bad premises have been? You know. You make me feel so unnatural. So as you can see, rolling on the screen. This is a boy. We are bad boy. So capitation was a uh, was a uh, uh, hard, hard and weakness uh, uh, policy. As, as it stands now, what would you say? So we are we are. So now the capitation has gone. Yes, and the capitation has gone. All the roads now we have tackled about eighty percent now. Mm. All the roads we are doing it now, and now the education also is moving on. Mm. Now we are building the airports. We are building the airports. The in fact, they completed the first no, phase. No, 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 no. It's going to. We are going to destroy everything. Bahama used uh, 29 million US dollars to build the airport. Okay. But when we came, to maybe today, maybe it was today. it was four million. Mm. So now, at the moment, we are building ultra modern airports. We are talking. We are not. We are not talking about kitchen. We are talking about. So I can see people watching me live. Um, the show is going to start in the next um, five. Um, I'm eating a morning called Dumri. Jack, today producer did good. Producer did good. My producer did good. He said I can eat uh, on air and I can let you people know what I'm really eating. So it's um, a morning called Dumri. Jack, do you hear, you know, say we, we don't, we don't, we don't, Jack, why? Maintain your level. What are human beings? So it's happening live here. Um, the show is going to start in the next five to ten minutes. We'll be talking about a lot of things. We'll be talking about the coronavirus. We'll be talking about Galamse, the new exclusives coming up. And so I, I can see so many people. Hey, Chris Fifi, you are here. I'm eating uh, Angamo and um, Kotomri. Jack, here, yeah, no gaba, no bozi. We don't fear anything. We are tight. Uh, like uh, until we release Duku. Uh, we will destroy it. The part kills me. Yaba Grace is online. Kevlon Mola is, hey, Kevin, this food, yes. I'm contemporary stew. Yeah, this is um, contemporary stew. Kevin Taylor, funny and free. No, um, chinchinibia. No chinchinibia, Jack. Why are you think time, sir, Jack? Some people make chinchinai at 2 o'clock. They are wearing suits. I'm a 29. Jack, maintain the level. Maintain. I can see evangelist Mark um, Jolivet online eating rice. Yes, we're eating rice. Kevin Taylor is not Jesus Christ. Kevin Taylor is like you. He also eats. Uh, we, we are maintaining our level. I can see lots and lots of people online right now. Um, those who want to watch us live on YouTube, you can go on with all due respect page. With all due respect page on YouTube. That is the official YouTube page of the show. With all due respect on YouTube to subscribe. You can watch us live on YouTube. With all due respect page is on YouTube. It's streaming live. On Facebook, you can watch me now. The show has started. I came to introduce my um, uh, and... Um, uh, in Contemporary, you come to America, they say spinach. What's spinach? In Contemporary, it's spinach. That's about good. In Contemporary, too, you can say a champ of it, but it's all in Contemporary. I can see Kojo Enchi is online, Shafiq Sulemana is online, Augustine PK, Anoma is online. This is Loud Silence Radio and TV. My name is Kevin Ekobedi Taylor. Here, no gaba. Producers are tight. That coming to the boys for area, but still, we are maintaining our level like Adoli. We are still maintaining our level. Yes, you might not like us, and we also don't like you. We always like people who like us back. Um, but Adventure is watching. Imano Kwesia, Jaho is watching. Anita Frimpong is watching. Piero, how are you doing, Obwasi? I know you're watching live from Obwasi. Gaffa Mohammed is watching. Godfred Asante Buafo is watching. The Incontumere and Rice is here. Producer, we, we, to, this today, eh? 
we made like four cups of rice. Me, after this, I'll go and finish the second one. And when I finish the second one, alongside Lord Kenya and Oporian Ponsa, and we, me, we don't care. Okay, so I'm going to be back in the next five minutes to officially start today's show. Today's show is packed, my fellow Ghanaians. It is a packed show. My name is Kevin Ekobedu Taylor. Feel free, be yourself and do what you know do you know better. Don't don't let people intimidate you. Don't let people, you know, my man call for shovel so what you want to do, you can't do. Media more on live set. So and so what? My friends, let's keep together as one people and let's live as um brothers and sisters. I'll be back in the next five minutes to start this is Love Silence Radio. Let me tell you what happened. The 1.2 billion, when the new road fund board took office, was not there. What was not there? The money that was contracted, the loan. Mm -hmm. They took it, they didn't disperse it. Uh -huh. So what happened to the money? It can't be found. Ah, Richard, hold on. Your government must be a very useless government. And that is my problem. I have a problem your with the government. Must be a very, very I have a problem. They're very, very useless I'm, government. I'm heading 1. towards 2 it. Billion. One point two billion. I'm getting there. This I'm must getting, be a I'm very, very five. useless government. They must be, and I have a problem with them. Huh. That is why contractors will do what they are doing. One point three a single alleged act of corruption, and leveled against any of my appointees, is being or has been investigated by independent bodies such as Shrabs, the CID, and in some cases by Parliament itself. Indeed, two appointees of the executive are still facing investigations. It is refreshing to note that none of these agencies has ever indicated any pressure from the executive over their investigation. The big wigs included the general secretary of MPP, the regional chairman of the Asante regional chairman of MPP, Wuntumi, Charles Bisu. Even the minister himself all have concessions. And some of the confiscated excavators, it's not only excavators, but included SUVs and pickups. And some of, we the MPs even have some of the pickups, MPs from the other side. And that is quite embarrassing. Then, if you breach the law and somebody takes advantage of you breaching the law to also breach the law, then you arrest that person. If the minister had kept this excavated under the custody of the police, he's following the law. But in this case, he didn't follow the law. And as a result, constituency chairman, regional chairman, now have the opportunity to take part in the uh, vanishing and sale of this excavator. Who do you arrest? <laughs> Some of the pictures, we are almost what you are Yes, I mean, why no? I'm mad. No, we a friend. I'm mad. The picture back home, I'm fine to soon. I'm good. The picture back, what you are doing? I am one back premises of the moon. You're missing it as a nasty. So, as you can see, rolling on the screen, this is a boy or a bad boy. So capitation was a uh, was a uh, 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 hard, tough, mm. and wickedness uh, uh, the policy. As, as it stands now, what would you say? So we are we are. So now the capitation has gone. Yes, and the capitation has gone. All the roads now we have tackled about eighty percent now. Mm. All the roads we are doing it now, and now the education also is moving on. Mm. Now we are building the airports. We are building the airport. The airport, for no. instance, was started under Mahama. In fact, they completed the first no, no, phase. No, 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 no. It's going to. We are going to destroy everything. Mahama used a uh, 29 million US dollars to build the airport. Okay. But when we came to maybe assess today, it, it was today. it was four million. Mm. So now, at the moment, we are building a modern airport. We are talking. We are not. We are not talking about kitchen airport. We are talking about airports that anybody can can travel. 
we have opportunity to travel to so many countries. Okay. You, you see, not house. We are not talking about house. We are talking about airport. Airport. Okay. You see, so now MPP is building an airport. Once we, we finish, everybody will see the difference mm. about airport. Down to this loan. Let me tell you what happened. The 1.2 billion, when the new road fan board took office, was not there. What was not there? The money that was contracted, the loan. Mm -hmm. They took it, they didn't disperse it. Uh -huh. So what happened to the money? It can't be found. Richard, hold on. Your government must be a very useless government. And that is my problem. I have a problem with the government. government. Must be a very, very, yeah. I have a problem it with must, the government. The government I'm must heading, be a very, very useless I'm, government. I'm heading towards it. 1.2 billion. <laughs> billion. I'm getting there. This I'm must getting, be a I'm, very, very I, useless government. They must be. And I have a problem with them. Huh. That is why contractors will do what they are doing. One point Every single alleged act of corruption leveled against any of my appointees is being or has been investigated. Welcome to Loud Talents Radio and TV. My name is Kevin Ekobedu Taylor. This is the extended version of With All Due Respect. This is a serious show. Here, we don't mince words. Here, we do not mince words. We separate facts from noise. If you have joined me across the world, watching me live from the UK, if you're watching me live from Asia, from China, from Guangzhou, if you're watching me from Holland, if you're watching me from the United States of America in other states, if you're watching me from Ghana, 5,000 miles from here, which is our home nation, I would like to say good afternoon from the United States of America, good afternoon to the family, and good afternoon to everyone watching us. I would like to say good afternoon to the ex-president and the current president, Nana Arodanko Ekufuad. Good afternoon to the king of the Ashanti, Nana Otunfo Osetutu. Good afternoon to the I Wanna Be Kings in Ghana. Good afternoon to people who don't like us, and good afternoon to our mothers and fathers. This is the extended version of With All Due Respect. My name is Kevin Ekobedu Taylor. This show is streaming live on different, different platforms. We're streaming live on over 32 platforms. That is the magic. But today, you can watch this show on YouTube on With All Due Respect page. With All Due Respect page on YouTube. That is the official page you can watch this show on. You can also watch this show live on Facebook, on, um, loud, on With All Due Respect Facebook page. With All Due Respect Facebook page. You can also listen to this show live on our radio app, Loud Silence Radio. It's compatible with Android and also iOS. My name is Kevin Taylor. My face is full of smile because I know their family is here. I know people who want to separate facts from noise are here. Today's show is packed. Today we'll be talking to people. We will be delving into issues. We'll be talking, our main topic of the day is simple. We're talking about the Galamse, men behind the Galamse scam. The men behind the Galamse scandal. That is the main topic. But before that, I would like to run you through what we're going to be discussing today. The coronavirus issue, we're going to be discussing it. We, 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 when we are lucky, if we are lucky, we will talk to two students who are living in Wuhan State in China. Yes, the Ghanaians living in Wuhan State in China. We'll be talking to them on this issue. As we all know, the coronavirus epidemic is spreading very quickly and fast. The World Health Organization has issued a statement saying it's a global emergency. This is serious. In China, cities have been locked down. Nobody's going in and nobody's going out. Some countries are closing their doors to, fly, to flights from China. Some countries are even evacuating their citizens. What is Ghana doing now and what are we doing to make sure that this does not hit Ghana? Is Ghana still allowing flights from China into Ghana? What kind of help is Ghana government giving to Ghanaians living in China, especially the students? These are the questions we have to be asking ourselves. These are the questions we have to be posing to the people who are in, in, in charge of um, the health ministry. Today, I'll be talking to some students in China. It's almost 3.30 a.m. in China, but they say, Kevin, you know what? We will stay awake and talk to our fellow Ghanaians because we want them to know. We want them to hear. We want them to listen to us because we are going through hell in China. This is where we are as a country. We have forgotten our own people. We have forgotten our own children. This is the time we have to come out, speak up, and talk to the issues, speak to the issues, and separate facts from noise. So we will have these gentlemen online, and I'm going to just um, tell my producer to give them a call. Um, a few minutes, I just want to run you through what we'll be discussing today. Now, remember, a few weeks or some few days ago, the Foreign Affairs Minister, Shelley Ayoko Butri, confirmed that none of the students have caught coronavirus. He says none of the students in China, no one, has been has been has been infected by this virus. Um, Ghanaian students, uh, Ghanaian students in um, China 
have been given 40,000 cities. We are talking about 40,000 cities in old Ghana cities for, for 400 million. Very, very small money. Because to me, one person in Ghana can spend 40,000 cities in a week. We are talking about Ghanaian students living in China. Hundreds and hundreds of them. We're giving them just 40,000 cities. But it does not end there. Nox released a statement saying that they have gotten the money. The Foreign Affairs Minister said they have sent the money, which is good. Now, let me read a publication in, um, on Joy News, that, um, and I'm going to give credit to Joy News. It says, Ghanaian students in China who have been stranded following the outbreak of the deadly coronavirus, coronavirus, sorry, coronavirus, have received 50,000 RMB. RMB is the Chinese currency. 50,000 RMB, approximately 40,000 from the government for their upkeep as citizens or cities in the country go on lockdown. The money which was sent to the United you, 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 the money which was sent to the National Union of Ghana Students, NAGS, China, is to be used for the purpose or the, for the purchase of food and protective items for the students. Um, after it was revealed that the shortage of nose masks and hand sanitizers had led to some concerns and prevented some members from going out to buy some basic needs like food and water. In a statement copied to Joy News, and I'm giving credit to Joy because they carried the story. To Joy News, NUX, or N-U-G-S, NUX, National Union of Graduates, uh, whatever, China said the initiatives was taken in response to challenges that were raised by chapter representatives during a four-hour meeting held on January 29 between the Ghana Embassy and the National Executive Council and representatives of NUX China. So, as you can see here, as Joy reported that the money has been sent to China. Now, the question is simple. The students, have they received this money? Now, the, the city of Wuhan or Wuhan City in China is under lock. The students are not able to go out and access anything. They can't get water. They can't get food. They are not able to purchase anything because some of them had little, little jobs they were doing, you know. As a student, some to take some part-time jobs and all that. Now, the city is under lock. The Ghana government said they have sent 40,000 Ghana cities to China for the students to get access to these monies. Now the question is, we would like to hear, or we would like to know, have the students gotten the money? We'll be talking to some of the students in China. And in a few minutes, I will talk to one of the students, yeah? We're still trying to get them. We'll be talking to Fadil Isaka. He's, an, he's a computer science student, MSc, and he's in Hubei University of technology, Wuhan City. And also, if we are lucky, we are going to be talking to Said Kabori. Uh, uh, he is also an environmental science student, MSc, Wuhan University of Technology. So these are Ghanaian students who like to tell their own story. But fellow Ghanaians, give us a minute to, to work the lines and see if we can get um, these students online to talk to. So if my producer can um, do his magic, play some voices, and see if we can get these guys online. You're still listening to Loud Silence Radio and TV. My name is Kevin Ekobedu Taylor. You're watching me live from our studios in the DC um, metros. This is Loud Silence Radio. Every single alleged act of corruption leveled against any of my appointees is being or has been investigated by independent bodies such as Shrabs, the CID, and in some cases by Parliament itself. Indeed, two appointees of the executive are still facing investigations. It is refreshing to note that none of these agencies has ever indicated any pressure from the executive over their investigation. The big wigs included the general secretary of MPP, the regional chairman of the Asante regional chairman of MPP, Wuntumi, Charles Bisu, even the minister himself, all have concessions. And some of the confiscated excavators 
it's not only excavators, but included SUVs and pickups. And some of, we, the MPs, even have some of the pickups, MPs from the other side. And that is quite embarrassing. Then, if you breach the law, and somebody takes advantage of you breaching the law, to also breach the law, then you arrest that person. If the minister had kept this excavated under the custody of the police, he's following the law. But in this case, he didn't follow the law. And as a result, constituency chairman, regional chairman, now have the opportunity to take part in the uh, vanishing and sale of this excavator. Who do you arrest? Bonjour. La priorité des priorités, donc on dit que c'est le confort supérieur. Je m'appelle Bakari Kamara. Je serai en ligne tous les lundis à partir de 12h à 2h après-midi, heure de Washington, à Loud Silence Radio pour une émission intitulée Priorité. Évidemment, c'est une émission politique s'adressant à la politique du Sénégal. Je vous remercie. Loud Silence Radio and TV. My name is Kevin Ekobedu Taylor. This is the extended version of With All Due Respect. I have one of the students online. His name is Fadil Isaka. He is in China. He is an, uh, a computer science student, uh, MSc. He is in the University of Hubei, the city of Wuhan. Um, I would like to talk to him for us to hear directly from him what they are going through as students um, since um, the virus broke and also if they have received money from NUX or through the Ghana Embassy in um, China. Hello, sir. How are you doing, Fadil? Hello, fine. Can you, Hello? can you, yes, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. All right, man. Yeah, the, the, the line is quite slow, but we're going to work with it. Um, so how are you guys coping um, since um, this uh, virus outbreak in China? How are you guys coping? When I say you guys, I mean your colleague, students, and yourself. Um, okay. It's a been we are indoors. You are indoors. So the two, our school authorities. Uh, yeah, we are indoors. We don't go out. Our school authorities have been, you know, trying to help us. Okay. So we are, we are indoors. We are great. Indoors. So That's um, what I can say. great. Um, I know it's very late in China now. It's almost getting to four, three a.m., three thirty thereabouts. Thank you very yeah, much yeah. for taking the time to speak with us. Um. So let's just go, let's go straight to the issue. Um, the government of Ghana said it sent 40,000 cities to um, not through the, ministry, um, the, the, the high commission or the Ghana embassy in China to make sure that they distribute, they disperse the money, give it to the students to, um, you know, the city, I, we know, and it's been reported that Wuhan uh, is under lock, meaning nothing goes in, nothing comes out. So you, you basically indoors. Yeah, yeah, that's yes. true. Yeah. So now yeah. the question is simple. Um, have you guys received the monies from NUGS as a, as a student member? Have you received any money? Uh, me personally, I haven't received any money yet. But by the information I had, I learned some money has been, you know, issued to the executives of Nux Wuhan. Yeah. So mm -hmm. me, but me personally, haven't received any yet, any money, any money yet. And I uh, hope you understand. Yes. And has anybody reached out to you yes. or you and your friends 
about the money. Maybe you've not had time, or maybe because the city is under lock, that's why you've not been able to access the money. But has anybody made it up to you that th there's some money uh, which they have received? I'm talking about nukes because they also came out with um with a with a with a release that they have received the money and all that. Have anybody reached out to you? or your friends that you need to come here or expect this amount of money in your accounts because I know it's a student union. Yeah, per the Nukes Island, they have campus reps yeah. in Wuhan and, you know, throughout the province. So they said they would distribute, they would distribute the money to the campus reps so that the campus reps will, will you know, share the money mm -hmm. according to, 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 to the students they have. So that's that's what basically the the you know the information we've we've had. But me personally, I haven't received any money from anyone. But they said they would distribute the money, you know, to the campus reps so that they also you know give the money to us. So that's what I heard. Yes, uh, I know there's going to be a platform that you guys are on because as as student union or groups, you definitely have to be communicating. You just said that you have student reps in, yeah. in the various schools. So, obviously, there's going to be some platform, yeah. some WhatsApp group or, so, you know, email platform that you guys exchange ideas and um, send information across to each yeah, other. Yeah, we have, we have. So, on that platform, have yeah. you guys heard from any of the reps from the schools telling you guys about this money and how you can access it? Me, personally, I... No, 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 no. All what I know is money has been issued to Nooks Wuhan. Mm -hmm. That's what I know. Yeah. But, you know, getting the money, no, I haven't gotten any money yet. That's what I can say. But I got has the conversation come up in your in on your platform, on your WhatsApp group, or anywhere where you guys have a, a, a common grounds to have a discussion or, you know, ask these questions? Has it popped up? Uh, has it come up and uh, anybody responded to anything? No. It has never come up in a WhatsApp chat or in a group chat or anything where some of the executives of Nukes China are on it. You know, this this money this money that they are talking about yeah. is something. It's something, you know. Because Nukes uh, the the students Ghanaian students in the, within within the province or within mm. Wuhan, we are we are many. Okay. You understand? Yeah. So I don't think even sharing this money is it forty thousand or forty thousand cities? Forty thousand cities, Ghana yeah. cities. You see that sharing this money to to the students in Wuhan, I don't think it will help. You get me? Why do you say you that? Know, we don't even go out. Mm. So we don't even go out. So if if we get the money, what are you going to buy? What should I use the money to buy? Mm. Please, mm. if I may ask, what should I use the money to buy? I don't go out. I don't go anywhere. I don't get the chance to go out. So what am I going to buy with this money that they are giving us? But has the embassy, the Ghana embassy, have have they reached out to? If not you, have you ever any of your friends come up no, or told this. you that they've I reached know, out to students? I, I, no, no, it, that that that's between the executive and the, and the you know the embassy. Yeah. They, they 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 you know I know they communicate they communicate a lot. Yeah. But I don't know what. They, 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 yeah, they, I know they communicate, but uh, for me personally, I can't, I can't tell what they, you know, they, 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 they get from from the embassy the information because I'm frustrated here. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. um, so I don't follow them. I don't. I, I, I really stop, you know, going to them. But we have a WeChat group that we communicate. Yeah. So ever since. I, we, we are frustrated, so we don't follow them anymore. Because oh, like the 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 news that we want to hear, we are not hearing it. So okay. we, we stop, you know, following them. Yeah. Now, as as a, as a Ghanaian, as a Ghanaian and uh, as students, has the embassy made any effort to reach out to you guys on a on a on a platform to like calling you guys to know how you doing? You know, because I know there are a lot of students there; they can't do every single call they can be calling each and every single one but have they tried to put together uh, a team to make sure that at least enough of the students have been checked on and that if none of you guys ha ha is infected or anything because the, as you said there's a the number is big 
And uh, my question is, has yeah, the embassy, <clears throat> has the embassy, the Ghana embassy in China, tried to reach you guys to know how you guys are doing? For reaching out, I think the best person or the best, the best people to answer this question would be the news executive. Because for me personally, I haven't heard anything from the from the embassy. Mm. You understand? So the best people to answer this question would be the news Wuhan. Okay. Yeah, because I, 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 I know, I know, I know for sure that they, they communicate between them and the and the embassy. There, there, there has been some communication. And when you talk to your friends, for me, for me, uh, and when you talk to your friends, has anybody told you talk, that they've reached out to them or if anyone you know? No, 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 no. They no, haven't. No, no, no. Okay, so no. um, Fadil, um, thank you very much for your time. And um, before you leave, before you leave, what would you say to the Ghana yeah. government, or uh, specifically to the embassy, the Ghana embassy in China? That what do you guys need now? What what assistance do you need from the government? You know, initially when this outbreak came up, we thought it's gonna end soon. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. But things, things, things are, you know, things are. The the, the outbreak is on the rise. Yeah. You know, the number keeps increasing. Mm -hmm. So it has bring a lot of, you know, frustration. Oh. About more than ninety five percent of the students here, we mm -hmm. want evacuation. You understand? That's what we need. We yeah. just need to come back home. Maybe if things calm down, then we can come back. If 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 the group that we are in, we have a Richard group that we we we, we, you know, we communicate. Yeah. Most of the most of the students there, they want they want to come back. So you are planning that, with the Ghana government to find a way to at least evacuate you guys back home, so and know, then after yeah. when this problem is solved, um, you can get, you guys can go back to normal business and, and continue education. That's 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 all that we need. Um, it's it's well head. Yeah, Thank you very much, uh, Fadil. Um, I just I was speaking to Fadil, who is um, Fadil Saeed. Isaka. The name is Saeed. 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 Sorry, Saeed Kabori. Saeed. Saeed. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Saeed Kabori. He is an environmental science student at yeah. MSc Wuhan University of Technology. Thank you very much, sir. And um, we will try and send your message across. So that was that. That was it. Th that's a student, a Ghanaian student living in Wuhan City in China. Um, most of the time, he spoke for himself, and sometimes he, he he made us understand what he knows uh, on the general issues. And you can see that there's a little bit of frustration in his voice. And um, this is simple. We're telling the Ghana, the Ghana government, the especially the Ghana embassy in China, that they should at least try, try and get access to these students. These guys don't know what to do now. I have been in other countries. I have lived as a young man before, and I know how it is, especially in a, in a town or in a city or in a country which has been locked down, that you can go out, go get food. You can, you can do anything. You are basically stuck in your room for 24 hours. I think um, the Ghana government should take this up access all these students and get to know because as we speak now we don't even know that some of the students have been infected because from what he's saying that the channel of communication has broken they don't really know what is happening outside so these are the kind of things we want the ghana government especially back home here the ministry of health to take it up and also the foreign affairs minister oyoko Boche, to take it up and at least try sending 40,000 cities 40,000 cities to china and saying that it's going to solve the problem will not solve the problem I think the best thing we have to do is to make sure that we locate each and every single student because they go in with visas and they have addresses and they are in school. We should be able to locate them and see how they are doing. Sending 40,000 cities will not solve the problem, as you heard from the guy, that sending that money, even disbursing the money is a big problem. And we're trying to get some of the NARC's representatives to speak on it because we know that 40,000 has been sent. Now, some people are saying they've not even received anything. Some people are saying that that is their personal um, view. They haven't received it. Now we want to know generally if the money has been disbursed. This is what we are asking of the Foreign Affairs Minister and also the Health Ministry. Now, you know that um, just yesterday, there was a big issue at Kolebu. Some of the doctors started running away and fleeing the hospital because they heard that some patients who were brought in 
um, had the virus, the coronavirus. Yes, it was reported that malicious panic hit Kolebu as doctors flee over suspected coronavirus case. And I read a little bit of the story. It was actually on Joy News. It says, the head of the public health department at Kolebu Teaching Hospital has revealed that a lack of a well-resourced holding bay at the hospital caused pandemonium among doctors on Wednesday. Dr. Philip Amos said there was a situation in which two suspect cases, suspected cases of coronavirus were reported at the facility and all the doctors fled. This is where we are. This is where we, where we are. Now, the, the, the health minister came out to say that they have made enough provisions to make sure that we can, we can Ghana as a country can, 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 can stop um, the virus in case it happens. Now, the doctors who are supposed to be fighting this are running away after they heard that um, some patients have the virus. They have not even confirmed it yet, and they started running. So at this point, you see, my problem with the health minister or the health ministry is they think that money can solve this. Some things you need training. Some things you need people to be committed to. Just, you know, having a $400,000 budget to go buy nose masks is very important. It's good. It helps with the prevention. But the issue is the people who are going to tell we Ghanaians when there's an outbreak, God forbid, these people are running away. So how are we as a people going to be able to tackle this? The professionals have not been psyched enough. They've not been trained enough. For all you know, they don't even have an idea how to stop this if, a, if they, they, are, they are told that a, 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 a patient has that virus, the coronavirus. They don't know how to handle it. Now, in the news piece I read to you, he was talking about isolation wards and all that. And those things are not ready. But the health minister keeps talking about, oh, we have, we have allocated this budget. Everything is about money. When are we going to understand that money cannot solve everything? And that sometimes we need common sense and practical, practical processes to make things work. I'm not going to blame him for now because he's doing his best to make sure that these things don't happen. But he needs to do more. He needs to do more. He shouldn't rely on just the money and say that because we have some budget sitting there, when there, there's an outbreak, we can handle it. This is a deadly, deadly um, virus that when even one person, one person contracts that in Ghana, we are doomed. We are doomed because our, our, our health facilities and health system or the, the health practitioners are not ready. A story just broke out. The doctors started running away from Kolebu. They started running. Some started giving excuses. Oh, I have to go and pick my son at the hospital. Oh, my uncle. You see my uncle, that one. The one who was at the Galamse field and they mentioned his name. His funeral is coming on very soon. So we are going to arrange it. People started running away. Doctors who are supposed to. And I don't blame them. Because they know that we have not put things in place. We have not been strategic enough. Uh, we have not been proactive enough uh, to, to meet this. As I speak in Ghana. We are still accepting flights from China. As I speak now, in Ghana, Chinese are still coming in. Why can't we put a hold on that? Why can't we tell the Chinese government that, you know what? You guys, we've done enough. You have even come in here to mess our forest and everything up. Hold on. Hold on. Let your people stay in China. We will not die. Let them stay in China till this thing is solved. But still, there are flights from China coming into Ghana every single day. If a single person slips and goes through the system, that is the end of Ghana. And I'll say this emphatically because I know we will not be capable of handling this. I know we will not be capable in handling this. So what, what stops the government of Ghana from telling the, the Chinese government that we don't want Chinese in Ghana now because of what is happening and that you keep your Chinese people, when things are soft, they can come in and do their galamse. Why can't the government do such a simple thing? What is happening to us? What, what do we owe the Chinese? What, why do you think if this problem had happened in Ghana, the Chinese would just send their people in? They wouldn't do it because they, they, they are smart enough to know that hundreds and hundreds of people coming in and out, one might slip. One might slip through the cracks. My fellow Ghanaians, these are the kind of conversations we need to have. I told you today, this show is in two parts. The first part is talking about this coronavirus. The second part is about Galamse. But my problem is, now there are students stranded in China. They don't know anything. They don't have anybody to speak to. We have sent 40,000 cities. Now, 40,000 cities. Echo Ewusi, Chemaun to me, has struck his driving. The ties, the ties, the wheels. Do you know how much they cost? 40,000 Ghana cities. 40,000 Ghana cities. This is embarrassing. And with all due respect, money is money. But if your citizens are stuck in another country, 
possibly they might die from this if they contract any of this virus. And you are saying that you are sending 40,000 Ghana cities to go and, and rescue them. Then at this point, we've lost focus as a people. 40,000 cities. Echo, we see, Chairman Wun to me, Professor Frimpon Boati, these people, Ka no Muchi Nukura, Omo Tais over 40,000 Ghana cities. And you want to tell me all the students in China, you have sent 40,000 cities, so everything is fine. And you don't want to restrict the Chinese flights coming into Ghana. What kind of country, uh, uh, what, kind of, what kind of people are we? This is dangerous. This is serious. Countries like the UK, the US, other European countries are shutting their doors to flights from China. These are advanced countries who can handle, which can handle these things. But they say, no, we are not going to take the risk. But Ghana, Ghana, because our head is big like myself, Ghana, because our stomachs are big like myself, Ghana, because we, we think we are smarter than anybody else, our focus is only money, we will allow the Chinese flights to come in each and every single day. What kind of people do we have as leaders today? What kind of people do we have as leaders? Why can't we stop the Chinese flights coming into Ghana? What was, what? Why can't we do that? Do we owe the Chinese our mothers? This is ridiculous. The UK, the US, some big European countries are scared. They are stopping Chinese flights. They are making sure that the Chinese are kept where they are till these things are solved. A whole city has been locked down. They know the intensity of what is happening. But Ghana says no. We are sending 40,000 Ghana cities and it will solve the problem. We have put a budget of about whatever, whatever million, it will solve the problem. Now, there was a, 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 a panic, whatever, at Kolebu, and the doctors were supposed to make sure that if this was possible, they are all running away. So imagine, imagine that this was true. Imagine that these guys didn't text negative or whatever. These patients, they mean that's the end. These guys will just walk. And I even heard that one Chinese guy who... They had suspected that he had the virus, walked out of the hospital, walked out of Kolebu, went outside and went to buy uh, a Tampico. He went to buy a, a, a Pocky. He went to buy food, enjoyed, and walked back into the system. This is ridiculous. If this guy has the virus, by now, the whole place is populated. The whole place has been infested. What kind of people are we? And we are, giving, we are giving people some ridiculous attention for no reason. Every day we are sitting on TV, on our radios, we are talking about sex. We are talking about who went to eat who. Who, who is the, the best hip woman? Who, how can you have sex on bed? This is where Ghana has gotten to. We have no sense again. We have become stupid idiots because we think alcohol and sex is the best thing to discuss today. When you turn on our TVs and our radios from City TV all the way to GH1, GH1 is basically like a Jezebel TV or the most ridiculous TV in Ghana. Without sex, their numbers can go up. Without sex talk, their numbers, they can go up. They have lost no creativity. These are issues that we have to be discussing. These are issues that has to be an issue for everyone. It should be important to us. But no. You come and sit there and say who is sleeping with who and which position is better and whose neck is longer and who's where are we stupid it's our life all about alcohol and sex all, all, all our life is about alcohol and sex on our media platforms we can't say anything sensible to the people we can't put people in check we can't check the system We, we don't use our brain. We are just we are just like some animals, kingdom farm, where in the morning we get up, we are busy. Oh, I'll be back, I'll be back. One, two, one point, one point. Your points be about nothing at the end of the day. You meet Ghanaians, they are always busy. Every day you meet Ghana man. Jack, how far? Oh, Jack, I'll come with two minutes. I'll check some points. One, two, I'll go. Nothing. Either go sit somewhere and gossip and come. Not, we, are not pro we are not productive in no any way. Every day at the camp, every day at the every day at the camp, at the camp. Sorry, we're here today. Today, today, see, drones that are supposed to supply. If my producer is listening to me, he can put th those pictures on 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 our TV for us to for, for us to see. The drones that we spent over forty million dollars on, they are crashing. Let the drones fall. They are falling like the winds um, 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 billions. The drones that we spent billions, Dr. Baumia was making noise about, they have started crashing. Now the person that we're going to deliver the thing to, the person will die. The drone too is dead. So where, 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 where are we going? Are we okay as a people? We need money to do better things. 
drones to go and distribute what today the drones are falling they are they are they are they are they are crashing you make some people bring grammar they bring english they go and wear tie and they speak shit in your head and you absorb it and you throw it to we the people dr Bobia, your drone they are in the forest in mampong if you can put on your jalabia and go after the drone i'll be happy because when you are you when you are sick you can go to london and treat yourself and come back when you are sick you can get on a flight go to london and treat yourself and come back as we speak now those those drones they are they are like and we will go to the gala stop drones we have not even gone to the gala, gala say issue we will go to the gala stop drones we you see my fellow Ghanaians, we don't come here because we hate anybody we come here and speak truth to you these are drones see Drones are now, they are, they, are, they are crashing in forests. Not once, not twice. But when you speak on these things, somebody who does not pay rent, somebody who pulls a table before he sleeps, who, somebody who always goes to their auntie and beg for 10 Ghana to eat, will come on social media with his 10 Ghana credit and come and tell you nonsense because he's filled with tribe, he's stupid, he's ignorant, and he doesn't want to face the facts. This same person will sit up in the morning and say, hey, na DNA see. But this same person will turn around and come and insult you because you are telling the people the truth. This same person, he has not rented a house before. He's not rented a room. A house is even too big. This same person, a youth in Ghana, he's finished school like three, four years ago. He has not rented a room before in his life. He can never be responsible for anything because he owns nothing because he's taking no opportunity, uh, no, no responsibility in his life. He will go to his auntie in the market, his auntie who is sitting under the scorching sun, lie to the auntie, take 10 Ghana, take 5 Ghana to buy credit, come and sit on social media and insult people like Kevin because he feels that I am a shanty, I am an ever, I am a hauser, and that what Kevin is saying will not help the MPP, so I have to go and insult him. You and Kokuyo, you and Opro, you and Amukia, what is the difference? We are being citizens. We are not being just spectators. That is what Nana Dodan Kwekufuadu told us. My fellow Ghanaians, what we are doing today is not, is, is not, is not intentional. We, have not, we are not, we, you see, we are not after anybody. What I am doing today, what Loud Silence team, what With All Due Respect team we are doing today is fighting for you. It's fighting for you, my fellow Ghanaian. What I am doing here today is fighting for you. The honest truth is, I am not even benefiting. I am not even benefiting from this. I am being honest with you. People listening to me, people watching me, I am not even benefiting. I am even, I am even putting in more to make you happy. Do you think that if these... People, Professor Frippomas and the rest, I'll come to the Galamse issue. They had done their job. The, the streams were perfect. Do you think you'll come here and sit? Don't you think you, you, maybe you might have gotten a job out of that? My fellow Ghanaians, especially the youth, it is about time. It is about time we started thinking as humans, but not as Kukyu. I keep saying it every day. Insults, insults were not created. They were not created for animals. Humans created insults to pour on people who fail, who fail to act as humans. So if you are human, you think you are human, and you fail to act as human, that's when we will insult you. These same people, that's the problem we have now. And when you are talking about this coronavirus, they will come and insult you. But when this epidemic, whatever, this virus slips through the cracks and gets into the country, there will be the Worst hit with all due respect. Sebio Sebio, a year why here we push for you now. We are fighting for you. We push him will be a crank in a V8 with that. We push him will be a full play crank or togo but I mean, permanent man by my CIA ball. A B C that you are on social media, you are on, uh, 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 on, on every platform insulting people who are telling you the truth, people who are fighting for you. This is where we are as a people. This is where we are. That is why the politicians, they take us for granted and they think we are stupid because they think the way we react to things makes us look closer, makes us, make, make us look like animals. 
we cannot think through issues we cannot separate facts from noise we cannot put aside our tribalistic features we cannot put aside our stupidity our religious stupidity and attack issues the way they should be we are always thinking about where we are from how our name sounds who we hate who we don't like how did he make his money where is he from who is this person before we make our decision that is why we are suffering today that is why my fellow Ghanaians, we are suffering today we are suffering because we are stupid that is why my fellow Ghanaians, enough of this i know the health ministry the foreign affairs minister the ghana embassy in china will take this up They'll make sure they get access to these kids who can't sleep, who are frustrated, who don't know what to do. If even you have to evacuate these kids, bring them back home. And when this problem is solved, you can take them back home. The government of Ghana should make sure they put things in place to stop flights coming from China. We know these immigration officers at Kotoka International Airport. They are beggars. These people almost sad yet to be Oh, sir, uh, turn your neck. Uh, turn your leg to the right. Okay, please something for the boys why are you a chicken these immigration officers they get up in the morning they pray to jesus christ our god and personal savior their own personal savior they would iron their shirts iron their pants they'll go and sit in the cubicle and start begging from morning to evening oh we are here oh, you know ghana is hard ghana is coke and we know how careless some of these immigration officers are they are careless they are just there they are hungry and I know if there's somebody or an individual coming from China who has this virus, they will slip through. I'm telling you on authority. We know these people, they are hungry in those cages. They don't have any idea of what they are doing. I'm telling you, the only thing these immigration officers at Kotoka International Airport, they know is to beg money from little kids. Oh, something for the boys. So, you know, Ghana, there, a higher deal. Now, baby, any panel corner there. Banchi, it is the You see, these people, they don't, they don't, some of them, they are not fit to wear the uniform they are wearing. And we want to, you want us as a, as a whole country, we put our destiny in the hands of these people that these viruses will not come through, the coronavirus will not pass through. These people are beggars. They are not different from the, without due respect, the homeless kids and all those people we see on the street begging. These people are professional beggars. Master. Beggars move professionals. Beggars move opele. Beggars move They can beg for you to feel bad for them. Something for the boys. Every day something for the boys. They've never asked something for the girls before. Every day something for the boys. Boys, you see a very beautiful woman with nice hips, very beautiful eyelash, something for the boys. No women have all turned into boys. Criminals. criminals and you expect these people to stop this and with all due respect some are very very good they do their job and the, the most ridiculous thing is i'm going to end this part this first part very soon so that we go into the galam say a nonsense happening in ghana you go there some are standing there with their arms folded they are the bosses with motorola and they are looking at people and then when they see that jack you there's too much ice on you they will stop you where are you coming from i'm coming from uh, uh jupiter you know the flight that came in you know the number of people on that flight. I have worked in an airport before as a Delta agent, so I know what I'm talking about. You know, before the flight lands, you know the number of people on the flight. You know the flight's number. You know the destination, the departure, where the flight is coming from, the crew, the number. Then you are standing there. Hey, where are you coming from? I'm coming from Bob Wasi. And you expect us to, to leave these people to stop the virus? All the funerals. So when he gets up in the morning, the attack is on those people flying. Yes, every weekend they are in uh, funerals, they are at weddings, they are splashing money, they are drawing big because they know on Monday they'll get somebody to steal from. This is where we are. And if we are going to laugh about this, we are going to be stupid about this, we will be there. These Chinese will, will go through it and they will kill us all. We don't want to speak truth to people for them to change. Immigration officers, I confer, majority of them, from the time, I have not been to Terminal 3, and I've heard that it's nice, it's good, 
But I'm talking about the old terminal. Before you enter, before you enter the, the terminal, macho man for Jeja. Hey, boss, uh, put your bag here. Hey, uh, where are you going? Uh, and uh, can you do it? You just don't get it. And the worst part is when you're about to get to immigration, go through uh, uh, immigration to exit, there are some people who call themselves national security. Dirty riffraffs. They are the problem. Then you see people are in the queue, and they will come in the queue and take people out of the queue and walk with just these people. Every every idiot is at the national security. Obia Watchman Crow or Jubilee House is a national security. What kind of nonsense is this? What kind of nonsense is this? Nobody's there to check anybody. Nobody. Without any respect, you're still listening to Loud Silence Radio and TV Network. I'm not even going to take a break. I'm going to go straight into the Galamse issue. Yes, we need to discuss that. It's a big issue, and we can't let this slide. We cannot let this slide. Today's topic is about the criminals behind the Galamse standoff. The criminals. Some are candidates for jail. Some of these guys are supposed to be in jail today, today, today. You see... That is a problem I have with Nana Adudankwa Ekufuado, the president of the Republic of Ghana. And I'll keep saying this. The president is the CEO of the biggest criminal enterprise cartel we have in Ghana today. And the answer, the, the reason is simple. Why is the president quiet? Why is the Jubilee House quiet? What happened to the president's 24-hour release or press to get the special prosecutor to go after people? What happened to that? Is the president behind this Galamse scandal? Because from what we are seeing now, Nanado Danque Kufuado knows more than we think he knows. These people, John Buedu, <laughs> a drunk like John Buedu, today I heard him on radio. And you know what hurts? What hurts is our, our media people, they res give these people the platform to come and talk nonsense. This is a hardened criminal. This is a thief. John Boedu is a thief. Professor from Pom I don't even want to mention that guy's name. That guy is a hardened old criminal with gray hair. Kojo Ponkroma. Kojo Ponkroma has been a disappointment in every... He's a disappointment to the core. He's involved in Galamse. Kojo Ponkruma, the information minister. And he's a friend. Now he doesn't talk to me again. I don't care. Kojo Ponkruma, you are a thief. You are a criminal. You are part of the people who are destroying this country. And I didn't mention your name. Your own friends, the people, the head of your criminal enterprise, your criminal cartel, he mentioned your name. You people wear suits and you think we are stupid to listen to you people every day? You are thieves. You people are criminals. Peter Mew. You see, the funny thing is, you see, Peter Mew's story, right? The newspaper that broke the story is the Statesman newspaper. And the Statesman's newspaper is the paper that, you know the person who owns the paper? Aikufu Adu owns the paper. It's been managed by the, 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 the skeleton man, Gabi Ochidakum. Kong Krampai, Kong Krampai is the one managing that paper. Now, the funny thing is, for some time now, you know that they, they have an issue with Amehu. They are happy that Amehu's name has been mentioned. And I will not, I will not spare Amehu. Amehu too is a criminal if he has those 20 excavators. But then, the statesman did not publish any of the other guys. John Buedu, Professor from Paul Boateng, Kojo Opon Kruma, the criminal um, a call, a will see, and Charles Bissu and that dumb head came out to me. They didn't publish any. They only published Abewu because it's a target. Amewu is the other here. They want to get rid of Amewu because Amewu spoke the truth about PDS. And I'll come to that story. They only decided to publish Amewu's story. They didn't publish Kojo Ponkrumah. They didn't publish Professor from Pomp Watting. The criminal had a head. They didn't publish John Buedu. They singled out Amewu, the statesman newspaper, to publish Amewu's story. Why do you think they did that? Echo, we see, it's a criminal. This guy was in Ghana sharing cars. Upon, he shared over 30 cars to constituencies. Where did this guy make money? And the bishops are all quiet. And I heard that the Catholic bishops say that if the NDC or the opposition does not sign whatever, they will campaign against them. Now, you people are already, you people are already uh, uh, politicians. 
You are speaking like you men, you people. You are lacking too much sex. The Catholic bishops in Ghana. You people, you are speaking like you are, you've got some menopause or something. Where well, you know people in this country, when Ayahuasca, people were brutalized. People were killed. And then a commission was set. The president, at the, at the end of the day, threw away the commission's report and did his own thing. Where, where were you people? Were you people taking bribes? Or were you people taking collection? You people are acting like you lack too much sex, so something is not right somewhere. I keep saying on my show, nobody has seen God before. You cannot tell me you are better than me in front of God. The only way that I will respect you is when you do the right thing and you act in the right way. Catholic bishops, today you campaign. How are you going to campaign? You people, <laughs> this, is a, this is a funny country. You want the people to sign this anti-vigilante bill, it is easy. Tell the president to implement everything that was in the most short commission report, in, in, in the commission, whatever they represented to the president. Why are you not people directing your anger to the president and telling them, Mr. President, you are the person who is causing this problem because you set up a committee to investigate the whole thing. We saw how, um, 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 we, that's when we realized that uh, Double was a criminal who was picked from the street to be uh, a, a national security officer. That's where we got to know that police officers were planted to shoot Ghanaians. Why don't you give people push your energy there to force the president to do the right thing? You are saying that if people don't sign or the opposition doesn't sign, you people are giving the opposition more room. And you call yourself a, a, a bishops and what? You call yourselves bishops. God give us wisdom to think, and I don't think you people are thinking. You people are stomach bishops. You people are stomach bishops. You sit there, the, the, and the one person that, you know, I, I feel so bad for, and I don't respect again, and I'll say on my show, is a shot himself. He has been a joker of a man. You sit hours upon hours, interview people, write a whole report to the president he throws it in your face and tell you to walk out and the next day you come and sit there talking about politics are you not ashamed of yourself mr emil short what a ben Quine did you eat or drink that has made you this way you had a very good thing going on you had a good reputation today you are basically like a junkie speaking anyhow bishops we will campaign against the opposition because the opposition has failed to sign something to make sure that vigilantism or vigilante or whatever is out of the system. But you, the same bishops, wearing these cassocks, these dirty cassocks that you don't, you don't, we, we, it's not white again. In the presence of God, you people are darker than anything. You are going to say, you are going to campaign against them. You people have been campaigners a long time ago. It is out to you Ghanaians to know the kind of people you are. You can insult me, you can do anything and say I don't respect and God will punish me. I don't care because I know that what I'm saying is the truth. You will campaign against you. Go and campaign against them. Eh? And who cares? Bishops have, been, have now, uh, uh, they are basically, these bishops are now basically foot soldiers. Where is Reverend Marty? Where is Duncan Williams? Where is Otabel? The Galamse issue going on. Haven't they seen it? Where are these people? These people are hungry old men. These people are taking advantage of people. They are liars. They are criminals. And we have to weed them out of the system. We don't have to give them the platform to spill nonsense again. The youth have to rise up against these people and tell them in their face that you people are liars and criminals and you have to give us the room to operate and manage our own country because these old men are selfish people. You are selfish people. You call yourself Catholics, Catholic bishops. I thought you people would come together as one people and fight the rape in, in, the, in the Catholic industry or Catholic church. Catholic bishops are raping people across the world. Catholic bishops, you are raping people across the world. I thought Catholic bishops in Ghana would sit down, come together and say, let us find a way to stop it. The probability of that happening in Ghana, me don't know. Maybe it has happened before. Today you are doing politics. I was, I was raised up as an Anglican, and I will always say I was raised up as an Anglican. But if you're a bishop, you're an Anglican, you're, you're a Catholic, my best friend is a, is a Catholic. And so if you're a, if you're a, if you're a, one of my best friends is a, is, a, is, a, is a bishop too. 
but being a bishop does not make you God. Being a bishop does not stay, say you are the most wisest person on earth. No. Being a bishop makes you... I, I don't want to use any word now. So you people should be ashamed of yourselves. If you want Ghanaians to listen to you people, if you people want to be seen as the people we respected years back, go to the sitting president, Ekufuado, and tell him, Mr. President, the Emotion Commission, implement every single thing in it, and that the vigilantism or whatever will be cut. You can't do that, and you want us to follow you people because some people said they are not going to sign. These people are criminals. The Galam say issue is not easy. When I, when I interviewed Solomon Owusu here, he told me that before Amewu left office, he handed over 525 excavators to Professor Frimpong Boating. 525 excavators to Professor Frimpong Boating before he left office. When Professor took over, we also confiscated or seized over a thousand excavators. We seized over a thousand guns. We seized over millions of gold, raw gold, black gold. We seized all these things. Today, you are saying 500, 500 excavators. Fine. There's no problem. Where are the guns you seized? Where are the guns? The pickups you picked, where are they? The gold you picked, all the gold. And I have facts that BCU had 14 kilos of gold into the Jubilee house. Charles BCU. 14 kilos of gold. If he's a man, he should come out and say, I'm lying. And the president knows this. But we shouldn't talk about it because we are MPP, because we are too stupid to face the reality. Echo what we see, he's been hunted because he's not from a chim. And it's a fact. That guy is a criminal. He has to face the law. Mr. President, I am even surprised. I am even surprised that John Boyd, who's such a criminal, is still walking in the corridors of the Jubilee House. Still a member of the MPP. My own to me, this idiot, this guy. I heard that Paul Adamotri is going to interview him. Why is Paul Adamotri not interviewing a Kweusi and interviewing a dumb idiot like Chema to me? You have to think, my Ghanaians. This is cooked up. Ask yourself, why is Paul Adamotri not going to not ask, interviewing a Kweusi who has vowed to spill the beans? But he has decided to interview some riffraff like Chema to me who cannot even write his name. You people should open your head a little bit. We are fooling ourselves too much. We are making these people wearing Vietnam suits take us for granted. They think we are so stupid. They are going to come put this idiot on TV for him to lie. Why is it not? Why is it Paul Adamotri can interview everybody? He's on the NCA boss. He works for the president. Why is he not calling Ekwe Wusi to come sit on his show and interview Ekwe Wusi, who is ready to spill the beans? Why is he calling Chema to me? He knows Chema to me is dumb as a pig. And he cannot think for himself, and he'll come there and sing. We are talking about our environment. We're talking about Ghana. We're talking about our river bodies. Some people have come together and destroyed it. Do you know the more people who will die? Do you people know? You think you live in Accra, you live in Okwase, so you don't have any problem. The tilapia they send to you people to be eaten, they are filled with mercury. And this mercury and all these chemicals are being produced by Chemaun to me. Kojo Pon Kroma, Professor from Pon Boatin, John Buedu, Amewu, these are the people, Charles Bissou, these are the people, they are destroying the water. And if you think that it is them and uh, the village people will suffer, you will suffer more than them. You see, today, in Takrani, they are saying they are going to start rationing water. G Ghana Water Company. There's the water, they can't handle the murkiness of it, the dirt in the water. But people like John Buedu, such a thief, is working on a Sempa FM and talking nonsense because some people are bold to speak out the truth. Somebody like John Buedu, a village raccoon like that. As we speak, Primpo Bwante is still in, in post. What is wrong with the Kufuado? I sometimes I don't, I don't understand Nane Kufuado. What is wrong with you, Mr. President? Oh, you are happy you want to take this party to opposition? I think it's your plan because I don't understand. The Airbus issue, and I'm telling Ghanaian, I'm going to talk about this Airbus issue on Sunday. What is coming is bigger than what we are expecting. It's a promise. I'll be releasing the piece on Sunday with document, and I expect Ghanaians to treat that issue with the same clear mind we treated the Airbus. We have to treat the issues. This, Mr. 
Mr. President, I don't understand you sometimes. Sometimes some people call me, why are you so hard on the president? And I'm telling you, I tell people, are you okay in your head? There was an Airbus issue. Mr. President gave a 24-hour notice that the special prosecutor should pick people up. Good. People have been caught on tape. Evidence are there. They have accepted that they stole like, excavators. They have accepted that they stole from the people. They have accepted that they are thieves, they are robbers, and these people are still in your government. And you come and speak English, and my fellow Ghanaians, and what kind of president are you, Ekufuado? What kind of president are you? And you expect me to come and sit here? That is why every day I tell people, I get people emailing me, sending me texts. You don't have anything good to say about Ekufuado. Why don't you? Tell me anything good about Ekufuado's government. I am giving you the room. If you can, if you can, if you can text me right now in the in the text, I'll read it. Tell me anything good that has been sustained by this government. This president, this government does one good thing, and they do a thousand worse things. This is not a. Hey, let me tell you, Ghanaians. If it, this is how a government uh, we rule a country, if this is how governance is done, I tell you, me, I can be president of Ghana. Jesus Christ, what do you do? You just clear everybody. You don't do anything. If this is how governance is done, it's the easiest thing. I say you people should tell me, tell me, tell me something good about this government, and I'll tell you people right now. SH, free SHS, go and see. You see the schools burning today? The pressure on the facilities are too much. When we were in school, we used to see school, they would tell us, don't use rice cooker, don't use iron. We were still using it. It is the youth. They are young. They are exuberant. They will go out of the way. But see the number of schools burning now. The pressure on the schools are too much. And we don't see these things. Free SHS, the kids, they are, every day they are sleeping outside. We are like, can't we, can't we think a little bit? Somebody will say, I went to buy a drone to supply blood. Today, the drones are crashing. We will stop Galan say, today, see, a whole professor, his son, the information minister, Kojo Pankrumah, the regional chairman, uh, Chairman Wun to me, the central regional chairman, Ekwe Wuzi, Dombwedu, these people are the criminals behind the Galam C. These are the thieves behind the Galam C. But the president is acting like he didn't hear anything and he didn't see anything. The only thing another Dan Kwekufuadu sees is John Mahama. The only thing my MPP sees is John Mahama. The only thing the MPP, which I belong to, sees is Ibrahim Mahama. Why? Because we have allowed petty politics to fill our brains and we have forgotten the real issues. Somebody just texted, year of return. How many companies, how many companies came to Year of Return? Year of Return was a sex parade. Year of Return. Somebody texted, tell me something good about this government. He says, Year of Return. You see where we are now? You see where we are now? Year of Return. It's a sex, it was a sex parade. And it was in Accra and somebody going and say, Nothing came out of it because we have failed to think and plan as humans. This is the creative art industry. What do we do? Parading people to come and sing and shake their butt will not bring investors to my fellow Ghanaians. It will not. Ah, if you know how to sing, you can you sing more than Diwa and Shaka? Diwa and Shaka in India movie, they can sing. Diwa, Diwa, Shaka, where is Sonia Chiba? If you can sing, do you think you can sing more than the Indians? If you can perform. Diwa and Shaka, do you know Diwa and Shaka? My producer is laughing. He's a, he doesn't know. Diwa and Shaka. Can you sing more than Diwa and Shaka? You can't. Diwa, Diwa, Shaka, and Shaka. You don't know anything. You say, year of return. Eh? Then you send somebody an old, an old machine like Kadibi, an old machine. Sebi, Sebi. Jack, Ghana and Kevin old gentia, gentia, old wood, come and shake her about. And you see, even Nelson, why the nicer Italian folk and the rest, they are going to meet Cardi B. Ah, Ivan Nelson is not there inside. Producer say Ivan Nelson is not there inside, but I'm interested in her legs. Ivan Nelson, you could organize demonstrations in Ghana. Ivan Nelson, 
You could organize demonstration with your fellow colleagues with Lantern parading the streets of Accra, saying that Doomsaw is killing the government in the country. Nothing is working. Today, where are your legs? Where are those legs? Can't you bring those legs and go and demonstrate again and say, hey, Mr. President, the Doomsaw is back in Kumasi, it's back in Ghana. Mr. President, the Galam say you have failed. Mr. President, the corruption is high. Today, you you we know you. We know you long time. Ah, Ibona is we to do to semi. I said now, but you make fair pass me. These are the people we have to speak to because these are the people who have changed our lives today. Their actions have brought us this to the, to this point. Jack, we are not going to play again, boy is a bow yum. If you hit our tummy, we will hit your tummy back. We need to save this country. We need to save this country. Criminals, candidates for jail. Kojo Pong Kruma, he's in deep, 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 deep in this Galamse issue. And the Kowusi was emphatic about it. John Boydu, deep, deep neck in this Galamse issue. Professor from Pombwati, deep, neck deep. Chairman Wood to me. Uh, everything. Uh, they, they, also, they were playing his video. You break down the airport and we build a new one. This is not a kitchen airport. This is the MPP we said we have the men. Kantanka, Kantanka, make more men for us. But what we have are antelopes. Kantanka, make men. And that when you make those men, add password. So that when they are fooling, we can go and delete the password and they will just collapse. And that's it. We have the men. We have the men. These antelopes. You go and destroy the airport, and then we will be the new airport, and this one, ultra modern airport, and then wait, wait. Ah, in the 1980s, Krampo, San Tomoko Air Concert, they will not bring this guy with them. They will not bring Chema to me, but a whole party like the MPP, the whole party like the MPP, these are the people who are leading us. And I always say, I blame you, President Kufo. I blame you, uh, uh, MPNE. Anani, I blame you people, Paul Afoko and the rest. You people have become women. You have become women and you have allowed short men who are, who, who are greedy to take over this, our party. This is where we are. We have lost the MPP. We have lost it to criminals. Chairman Wood to me, I swear to God. Chairman Wood to me, I swear to God. This guy involved in Galamse. There was a day his videos were circulating. The number of cars this bullion has. This guy cannot write his name. He, if Chema won't me write uh, for myself, my name is Chema won't me. I come from Asantia Chem. But if Chema won't me, I'll, I'll go drink poison, die. And this is the guy we are following as a political party. What happened to us, my fellow Ghanaians? What happened to us, NPP? Ekufuado is quiet. These people are still occupying the offices. These are hardened criminals. Professor from Pobwati is a criminal. We caught him on tape confessing that Galamse, the Gala Stop, whatever was put together to sustain the MPP party. You are putting so many people's lives at risk just to maintain a party in power. How? How wicked can you be, such an old man, when you go to heaven and you stand in front of God and you ask for your love, they will give you Congo Day because you don't have brains. I heard my producer say I had to do concert too much. These are the things we have to talk about. And we are there. And every morning, every day, we are not speaking. We are not speaking up. Why are we not speaking up? What is wrong with us? These people are supposed to resign. These people are not supposed to be in office. John Boydu, Professor, even Professor from Pop Watin was supposed to, you see, as a rational human being, he was supposed to resign that day, like two days ago. You see, from Pop Master was supposed to resign the same day, the same day this news broke out. But no, he's rather telling Ghanaians that we are stupid. Somebody like John Boyd, a whole party secretary, he's going on radio stations and spilling nonsense. The facts are there. This evening, Chema Wun to me too will go and sit on Metro TV on Good Evening Ghana, Paul Adumotri show, and spill nonsense. And we are there and we are clapping. What is wrong with you, my people?
It hurts me that Ruth Tumi went to Prempe. It really hurt my heart. President Kufo went to Prempe. Renowned people went to Prempe. But I know that not everybody wearing green is a real Prempe. Okoe Krasi Prempe. Okoe Krasi Prempe. Wait. I mean, you don't say even Presec. You know me, I'm a Presec. I'm another day. I'm full. You see, I love my school because we are very selective. We don't bring Mumu to come and wear blue. We have... Uh, Donkwasi Presec, we have uh, Osu Presec, but when you see their blue and you see our blue, you see that this is real Presec. Illuminate Vida be Muslim and in that light, we shall see light. President Kufo went to Prempe, Prempe College. Chema Utu went to a Krasi Prempe. He is leading the MPP. You see, let's get serious here. Let's get serious. And the youth, you are the people I'm talking to. Don't let these people, these ignorant people, lie to you every single day. Galam say, Galam say, it's a big problem. And it's not about parties or it's not about individuals. It's up to us to make sure that we correct the wrong. Galam say started a long time ago through regimes, through governments. We thought that this was the time that we there was going to be a change. But it is even worse today. Why? Because the leader is involved. And I say the leader is involved because Charles Bissou, after he was caught on camera, a work duly done by Adnas, Charles Bissou is still at the presidency. He's still taking money. He's being paid without taxes. Charles Bissou is a hardened criminal. Still, the president doesn't want to speak on it. Still, what should we do, you Nanado Danko Kufuado? Yambo to powder. The Evanko see a rim. The president is deeply involved in this galam say. Ekwe Usi has been warned. He has been threatened this afternoon not to go out and speak. What kind of country is this? This afternoon I heard some news that um, um, Asla Ousu said that. Uh, because people are misusing or abusing the internet, they are going to shut it down very soon. I told you, Ghanaians, they will shut the internet down before elections. I did this story a few months ago, and it is going to happen. We are living under a tyrant, under some dictatorship. You people can see it. I am prepared, my producer, thank you very much. I am prepared to put my presidency on the line in the fight against Galamsey. So what happened to that preparedness or whatever? What happened to this, this, this statement, Mr. President? You are prepared to put your presidency. From what we are seeing, it means you are really prepared. Ekufuado, you can lie too much. You are too old to be lying like this. And if you comment, this Galamse issue affects every single Ghanaian. And when you start speaking on it, the first comment will be John Mahama. The only person who is popular than John Mahama in Ghana is Jesus Christ and Chairman Wun to me. The only person who is popular, because every single thing you ask people in government today, whether um, um, civil servants, Everything, when you ask for accountability, is John Mahama. Today, you see the, 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 the majority leader hopping from radio to radio. He's speaking on the air bars. And I, I understand him. He needs to fight for a seat that if he opens up, he will lose. He's fighting for a seat. He's pleasing the base. He's pleasing the president. Indirectly, he's begging like an ant. Please, let me do the junkie job for you people to keep me in parliament. A majority leader. He has lost, he has lost that respect. You were in parliament. You've been in parliament for 20 years. You know how this thing started. And I have no problem with you asking questions. But the question is, why are you quiet on matters like this? Chey Mensabuns, why? I heard that Kenda Parson was going to pick forms and he was denied forms. Is the party, why? Who, who, what is wrong with us NPP? What is wrong with us Ghanaians? Kenda Parson wants to pick a form and contest and serve his nation. You said no. And you see, I, I blame Kufour. I blame Alan Cash. Alan Cash, I blame him big time. 
I blame uh, uh, this this so-called Council of Elders. NPP, we were here when they went to Council of Elders meeting, they changed the constitution. You people don't know. If today, if today something happens, they can come back and tell you guys, you guys, when you went to Kofarudia, everything that we said, you say yeah, yeah, and you don't know the details. As Go and pick your constitution and read. They can overturn anything against Ekufuadu today. You people don't read anything. Ah, chairman, which means our chairman. Why, why, why are you supposed to read? And nobody wants to talk about it. I will speak on this till I die. These people have to be in jail. And Apalu, why do you have full set question? And he's talking things as a presidential candidate. You can't come out and speak on these things. Because this government gave you a billion or whatever dollar contract. Such, such person. And you people are saying, anybody can be a presidential candidate in Ghana. What is so serious about this issue? What is so serious about this? Why are we not telling the president that, Mr. President, if you don't fire all these people and make sure they are prosecuted, you will not, we will not vote for you. Why can't we do that? And if we don't do this, do you think that if a Kufuadu leaves power, then the next person who comes, we can scrutinize the person? We are digging our own grave, my fellow Ghanaians. Because if we can apply these principles now, why should we apply it the next time? We have to understand that whatever is happening today, we are refusing to talk about. When it happens again under another regime, we can't speak on it. Oh, it means we are destroying this nation. Whatever is happening today, we have refused to speak on. If Kevin Taylor can't chop president, you people don't have the right to speak on it. And you have to understand, my fellow MPP, my fellow Ghanaians, that Nana Adodankwe Kufuado and his criminal enterprise, his family, they will not be in power till this word Till, till the end of the end of the world one way or the other they're going to leave power and when they leave power somebody is going to take over where will we be what are we going to say the chiefs the bishops who are masturbating and speaking anyhow the the, the, the senior officials who can you guys come out and speak We will take this country back peacefully from criminals. And it is a word I'm holding on to. We Ghanaians, we the youth, we will take our country back peacefully. We will not lay a finger on anybody, but we will take it legitimately from criminals who have occupied positions in Ghana today. These leaders are thieves. This MPP government is a stealing machine. Until the president comes out and tell these people to resign. Until the president comes out, write a letter to the special prosecutor, the attorney general, and say, these people have to be prosecuted. Chairman Wun Tumi has to be prosecuted. Yes. Chairman Wun Tumi has to be prosecuted. John Boedu has to be prosecuted. Kojo Oponkroma, that thief, he has to be prosecuted. This man, he has, they don't even need to prosecute him, uh, uh, Professor Frempo Boatin. They have to tie him up, put him in a barrel, and throw him in jail. Echo, we see he has to be prosecuted. This guy was sharing cars. A constituency chairman. Why? Do they pay you with a bar of gold every month? Where did you get the money from? And the people in the constituency knew this guy is a thief, but they never spoke about it. Ghanaians, what is wrong with us? What is wrong with us? We have to be serious as a people. We have to start talking to these people, telling these people the truth. We have to start making sure that the system works. How, is that, how, how are we going to make sure the system works? It's about speaking truth to power, irrespective of who is in power. There's no truth in Ghana again. Nobody speaks the truth again. From bishops all the way to the last messenger, everybody's a liar because Ekufuado is the president, because the media is scared of this president. The, the media, they have become like puppets. They can't speak truth again. Today, they want to parade a whole regional chairman, a criminal on national TV for everybody to come listen. This guy has to be in jail. Ask these people. Ask these politicians. All the things they are doing, if they were in any other country, any country where they go to borrow money, would they be living home? Would they be at home now? That is what you have to ask yourself. Ask these people. Ask Chairman to me. Ask, these, ask them. 
But they know that you people are stupid. They can get away with anything. They can even get away with murder. And somebody like Kennedy Japan has gotten away with murder. Because we have failed to speak truth to power. Kennedy Japan, I know you'll be coming to uh, uh, Ohio very soon. We are waiting for you. I told you, until you confess about Ahmed Swale's death, I will never leave you. We are waiting for you in the U.S. You have more questions to answer. I'm a journalist and I will not keep quiet for a journalist to be shot in the head. I am not a, a coward. I'm not stupid. I will be asking. I will be pushing. And I'll push through here. Here the, the, it works. That your house at Orange Grove. You know you went through the channels to buy it. You know the system here works. I'm expecting you here. The, the crying you did at Texas it was just a, a, a tip of the iceberg. You came back home and said they held you for five hours. Say, they held you for ten hours. This time it's going to be more than that. And it's a message to you. And I heard that he has started attacking journalists again. He's attacking Mugabe and saying that he's going to deal with him. He's going to beat him up. And Ghanaians are quiet. And these are you people. You people are condoning this nonsense. He rises up again. This same person threatened to kill Ahmed Swale. Ahmed Swale died. This guy has risen or risen or whatever English. This guy has risen up again. And he's threatening to kill Mugabe Masa. He's threatening to beat this guy up. And you people are quiet. This guy is a killing machine. And he will do it. What kind of people are we? We, get, we make this guy go and sit on TV and say anything and walk away. He knows that the nonsense he's doing in Ghana, he can't bring it to the U.S. He will be in jail in a day. He cannot. If Kennedy wants to dare me, he should come to the U.S. and make such a statement. I will put him behind bars. He should come to the U.S. and make a statement about Kevin Taylor and say that I will deal with him. I will put, I will put him behind bars for, his, for the rest of his life. We allow any riffraff, any criminal to just use us because we are hungry. We are, we, are, we, are, we are just stupid as a people. Let us think small, my fellow Ghanaians. We should not let this galam say things slide. We should speak about it every day. We should make sure that we ask questions and this person has to answer. Ekufuado has to answer because I know that the president is involved in this cartel. You make this guy go on radio again, threaten the lady who released Kandapa's video. It, they are two, two old people. They can do whatever they like on social media. He goes on TV and says he will take care of this lady. If it was then, he would take care of this lady. Nobody says anything. Last week, he comes out to say he's going to attack Mugabe and beat him, a journalist, and all the journalists in Ghana are quiet. Are you guys stupid? You guys are quiet? You can't speak for yourselves? You can't protect each other? They'll kill you like chicken. I'm, I'm sending this message to Canada Japan. If he, he, if he likes, he should say something like that. When he comes to Ohio and they give him a mic in the, on, the, on this land in America, he should make a statement like that. I will let him smell his shit till he dies. You people should not be dumb like that again. Come out of yourselves. It doesn't matter who is president. It doesn't matter. See? John Dramani Mahama, I'm saying it. If Mahama is guilty of anything, the president has to make sure the system works. He's put behind bars. If any appointee of John Mahama is involved in anything, the president has to make sure the system works. The attorney general, the SP, they have to make sure people are put behind bars because it's our money. They have to understand that there are rules and regulations that governs this country. The same way, if the president in power today, his people are misbehaving, they are criminals, he has to make sure the law works. Why are we not forcing them to do the right thing? for this is the time you have to send a warrant for these criminals. And stop chilling with your girlfriend in cars in Accra. This is the time you have to send a bench warrant to go and arrest those criminals, these Galamse criminals. You're coming after Kevin Taylor because it's a soft spot. Those times are past. This time we will take power legitimately from criminals. We will take power legitimately from criminals. And if Eko Ewusi, this morning I texted him. I told you, Eko Ewusi, it is better you come out and you speak the truth and be free 
than to be hiding under the table. I know they warned you not to come and speak, but I'm telling you, I will come after you till you tell the truth. Like what we see, I will come after you till you tell the truth. No wonder today when you meet young people, they said, we need another J.J. Rawlings. We need another J.J. Because these people are fools. Why should we think about needing somebody with a gun to, to, to lead us again? Why should we even think about that? Do you know what people went through during Rawlings' time? During, before Rawlings, a, a champion, do you know what people went through? But why would people ask for that? It is because they have lost hope in the system. They have lost hope in the president. They have realized that these people are criminals and they cannot help us. And it is true. Today, where is the vice president? Where is the vice president? His drones are crashing. The vice president came. His GPS is even better and effective than the one in America. That is why he told Ghanaians, and we got people clapping. Pa, 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 pa. Ha, Abu can come. Today, people respect Gabi Ochidakun than the vice president. My heart bleeds for Baumia. My heart bleeds for Baumia. On Sunday, I am going to talk about the Airbus. I know, me, I don't fear anybody. Sunday, I'm going to speak on the Airbus. I've seen people writing, why don't you talk about the Airbus? Sunday, Ghana time, 8 p.m., I'm going to speak on the Airbus. It's going, I'm going to release it on Without Your Respect on Facebook. And people on our Patreon page, on my Patreon page, Anyone on my Patreon page, you are going to get this video 24 hours before anyone gets it. If you want to subscribe to our Patreon page, I hear you, producer. If you want to subscribe, just go uh, on, our, on, on, on Patreon, look for With All Due Respect. Subscribe, $10, $15. You get access to all the documents. And on Sunday, I'm going to release documents. Documents. Go and sign up. A monthly subscription of ten dollars, fifteen dollars. You get access to documents. You get access to the video twenty-four hours, even before anyone gets access to it. This is what we're doing. We need that. We need that because this is a journey that we have taken. A journey that we have decided not to take money from criminals, people in government. We have not decided not to take money from businesses. We want to do this legitimately. So we want people to help the cause. Subscribe, ten dollars, fifteen dollars. You get access to videos. Nobody has gotten access to. That is what you get. Subscribe to our, our Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N, Patreon page. When you go on Patreon, look for With All Due Respect. My fellow Ghanaians, let us get real here. Let us get real. This Galam say issue, nobody should stop talking about it. Nobody should stop. The Airbus issue, we should not stop talking about it. We have to make sure the truth all comes out. Why are we, why are we not talking about Why? Why? These people have destroyed so many lives. Aisha Wong is in Ghana today as I speak to you, still doing Galamse. Aisha Wong is in Ghana today doing Galamse. And the Kufuadu knows it. And the Kufuadu knows it. What is wrong with you people? Kevin Taylor, why are you not speaking on the Airbus? Kevin Taylor, you are biased. Kevin Taylor... This same Kevin Taylor, you people say he's not credible. My own MPP, they cook up stories. Kevin Taylor is being paid by this person. Kevin, today, if a story comes out and Kevin Taylor does not speak on it, Kevin Taylor is biased. You said I'm not credible, so why do you need me to speak on the Airbus? I'm not speaking on the Airbus because of the nonsense you are speaking. It is because I know what I'm doing. I take my time, I analyze issues, I, I investigate issues, and come out with the facts. And I'm telling Ghanaians, those calling for the Airbus, you have to be ready. Because if under 24 hours, we ordered a special prosecutor to go after anybody in the Airbus, which I, I honestly support 100%, we should be ready to order the special prosecutor, the, all the security agencies to go after some people. Hmm.
Today, Ghanaians are rotting in jail. I am a galam. I, I, I grew up in a, in a mining community. I'm an obwasi boy. Today, Ghanaians are rotting in jail. Eko Usi is walking free. Ghanaians, they were caught. They said they are doing galamse. They have been involved in galamse. Eko Usi is walking freely. This idiot, Chema to me, is killing people in our villages. Galamse is destroying waters. This guy is walking freely. A journalist is going to put him on TV today to spill nonsense. F Professor Frimpong Boatin is walking. Ghanaians are rotting in jail. Kojo Ponkuma. This idiot, this liar, is walking in and out of the Jubilee House. He's walking, involved in Galamse. Amewu, involved in Galamse. Ghanaians are rotten. Chinese were let off the hook because we, the people, Yehuye say, Yemua, Ekufuado, and his group of cartels, his group of criminal enterprise criminals, you know, let's put Ghanaians in jail and let the Chinese off. Somebody like Osaf Mafu, a grown-ass man, he said it publicly. Solomon who's asked him in the United States, Chinese are better than Ghanaians. It's Yelfa Ghana phone to fiance. As I speak to you now, women, children are home. They are crying every single day because their husbands, their kids, who did not have any option because this government and the previous governments failed to create job opportunities. They are languishing in jail. They are dying. They are rotting in jail. But the Chinese have been let off the hook. Is this a precedent you have to believe in? Is this the precedent you have to believe in? Ghanaians are rotting in jail. Go to our jails. These people are dying because they were involved in Galamse. They didn't know what to do. They were depressed. They, were, they, they, they didn't know anything. These Chinese came in with excavators and employed these people, paying them less than $1 a day, making them go under the ground. You arrest these people and you let the Chinese go and you put the same people who are going through agony. Governments of our government, they have not created job for the people. You come, you lock your people up, you want them to die in jail, and you want me to sit here and another Danko Kufuado and praise you, I'll be a twat. What kind of people are we? If you go to Kumase, our roads are all messed up. Everything is dusty. Every single thing in Kumasi is dusty. The roads are messed up. The schools are messed up. Everything is messed up. But still, your tour, your Santifo, your MP before, you vote for this Achim click. Then the way it seems, Sebi Sebi, what is wrong with our head? Why are we not forcing them to work for us? Galamsi can see a question now is going on in the Ashanti region, in the Western region. And we know, we see it. Asanti Sebio Sebio. What is our problem? What is our problem? Is our problem John Mahama? Is our problem Nordness? Is our problem Evers? Why can't we speak truth to power? Chema to me is killing people. This president has lost it. Ekufuado has lost it. He just speaks words. He just speaks words. He just speaks grammar. He cannot do anything. Professor Frimpo Mwanti is still in the office working. Jesus Christ, and the MPP as a political party, we are so confident and happy that Chairman Utumi is still our chairman and we want to go and win election 2020. Jesus Christ, what kind of party is this? And President Kufo, are you happy about this? You are not coming out with a statement to say that from what you have seen, the evidence and this embarrassment, you need action now from the president. President Kufo, you can't do that now. You have become so weak, President Kufo. You have become weak. Kojon Pieni, you have become weak. You people are all scared of Ekufuado because you know what he can do to you people. And you call your people the royals of Ashanti Kingdom. Sebi Sebi, Yasantua was a strong woman than you people. Sebi Sebi, Yasantua will not even take this nonsense. And you call yourself in a Yasantua, we are the royals, I respect that, but royals, royals are not cowards. At this year, and you're cowards. At this year, Hufo, you can ask the king of the Ashanti Kingdom. Somebody said I should drink small water. Drink small water, drink small water. If you do more, more for me, I like it. That one's no good. It is serious. Go to Obuase. Go to Obuase. The youth, they are walking up and down. No jobs. No jobs. From Obuase all the way to Amiakwanta, when people are traveling, only in Tarek Katao Menimi. 
because the roads are so bad because the dust but these same people these same people if a kufuado comes and puts some music na 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 on the on the from obwasi all the way to tutuka they have forgotten their senses they have forgotten why they voted for a party or a government they have forgotten because they have allowed tribe and then also Teni Bediaso, Teni Mahama, and then also Bediaso. That is the stupidity of the ordinary Ghanaian. Why don't you ask what the Teni did for you? Why are you not asking what this government can do for you? In respect, John Mahama is not Jesus Christ. John Mahama is appointees, some were criminals. And we have to set that record straight. The Attorney General, the Special Prosecutor, they have to go after them. Let us see the facts and prosecute them. Why are we not forced? Why are we condoning nonsense in Ghana? If you have evidence, people have to be in jail. Today we have clear cut evidence. At, excavators are missing. Over 1,500 excavators gone. Gold seized are gone. Pickup trucks seized are gone. Aboboya gone. 600,000 letters gone. These are clear evidence. There are documents to it. Why are people still working and telling we, the people, that we are animals? Why are we not coming together as a minority to push this idiot out of power and take our country back? What is happening to us? What is happening? Today, I know Doomsaw is in full effect, but the media, the, every day it goes back to the media. Every day it ends up with the media. To the, recently, I heard um, the EC met special media or whatever to discuss with them. Special media people. Who, what is special about these people? These drunks and weed smokers? What is what is what is what is special about these people? We are talking about the democracy of our country. We are talking about the transparency of our election. And you call some riffraff with big stomach, six, seven, eight, nine of them to discuss our destiny as a country with these people. Why can't you meet with the people and have a dialogue with us? What is wrong with Jane Mensah? This woman is a living dead. She is bent on doing one thing, and the only thing is he knows that the people have lost trust in this president. They have lost trust in this MPP I belong to. They have lost trust in this criminal. So they ha she has to rig the election for the Kufuado government. It is clear. It is clear. Everybody can see it. Thousands and thousands of people are hitting streets around the country and nobody is talking about it because we are cowards, because we have allowed stupidity and criminality and, 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 and tribalism to fill our heart. And I'm telling you, Ghanaians, if we don't act, if we don't speak, we will be slaves in our own home. We will live in the forest like monkeys because when the fight breaks out, nobody is going to survive. We have the chance to fight this. That's why I have a problem with this so-called ignorant, ignorant archbishops or whatever. If you want to stop this, tell the president to implement everything the MO Short Commission gave to him. My fellow Ghanaians, I'm going to go for a short break. When I come back, I'm going to finish the show. My name is Kevin Ekobedu Taylor. You're listening to Loud Silence Radio and TV. Here, we separate facts from noise. Hi, my name is Kunle Olamafe. I'm going to be your host on High Impact Politics right here on Loud Silence Radio in D.C. Mondays, 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Nigerian Time, 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. This is High Impact Politics. We want to know exactly what's going on in Nigeria, outside Nigeria, and how it impacts you. Catch you there.
So capitation was a uh, was a uh, uh, hard, tough, mm. and wickedness uh, uh, policy. As, as it stands now, what would you say? So we are we are. So now the capitation has gone. Yes, and the capitation has gone. All the roads now we have tackled about eighty percent now. Mm. All the roads we are doing it now, and now the education also is moving on. Mm. Now we are building the airports. We are building the airport. The airport, for no. instance, was started under Mahama. In fact, they completed the first no, no, phase. No, 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 no. It's going to. We are going to destroy everything. Mahama used uh, 29 million US dollars to build the airport. Okay. But when we came to maybe assess today, it, maybe it was today. it was four million. Mm. So now, at the moment, we are building ultra modern airports. We are talking. We are not. We are not talking about kitchen airport. We are talking about airports that anybody can can travel. We have opportunity to travel to so many countries. Okay. You, you see, not house. We are not talking about house. We are talking about airport. Airport. Okay. You see, so now MPP is building an airport. Once we, we finish, everybody will see. The Hi, my name is Kole Olamafe. I'm going to be your host on High Impact Politics right here on Loud Silence Radio in D.C., Mondays, 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Nigerian Time, 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. This is high impact politics. You want to know exactly what's going on in Nigeria, outside Nigeria, and how it impacts you. Catch you there. Welcome back to Loud Silence Radio and TV. My name is Kevin Ekobe Dutella. This is the extended version of With All Your Respect. We were discussing, or I was telling you about the Galamse scandal. Now, um, you have to understand that um, the Galamse issue is a national issue. We cannot and we should not stop this conversation. The same as the Airbus issues. We should not and we cannot stop that conversation. We have to make sure that we speak on the issues. When they come up, we should not be we should not be selective. We should make sure that we go down to the bottom of the issues. The ones with facts, we have to make sure that the evidence are there and we prosecute people. That is what we have to do as a people. We should not be selective. This one happened under NDC, so we are not going to talk about it. This one is happening under MPP, so we talk about No, we have to make sure we are consistent. We are at we are attacking every single issue because we want to save this nation. I will speak on the bus issue this Sunday because we need to speak on it. Because we need to save this nation. You know, there are some people who are like very, very consistent on our side. Very, very consistent. Every day they watch us. And we call them the top fan. Our Facebook has actually marked them with some diamond. Somebody like Anwar Hero. He's a top fan. This guy, I love him because he speaks to the issues. He listens and he comments and he tries to get answers. Somebody like Irene Hlodzi. Irene Hlodzi has been my favorite person here because she follows the conversation. She tries to let people understand that these are the issues. So we want to say a very good thank you to our top fans. Anwar Hero and Irene Hlodzi. Dominic um, Nakuto too is a very good fan. They follow this issue. And these are the people who are ready to listen to facts ready to take this country and put it on the road on the right track somebody like etonam kofi zika we thank you very much for listening every day and sharing and contributing someone like um men's soda men's soda men's you to a tough fan we thank you very much there are lots and lots of them every day i'll be mentioning them what i am going to do for you or what loud silence and with all due respect is going to do for these people we are going to ship you to you guys our customized shirts we are going to send you customized shirts to wear and be proud that you are part of this family. This is what we're going to be doing. You know, this is without you respect extended version. This is Lao but This is the new phase of media in Ghana. So the top fans, I would like to say thank you very much. And then we will be sending you your shirt. We later, my producer will mark you guys down. We come to your Facebook pages and have um, some conversation with you guys to see how we can send these um, shirts to you. As I was saying, before I wrap up and open the phone lines, I want Ghanaians to understand that we should not be selective on the issues. We should not be selective. We should speak to the issues. Chairman Wun to me, Kojo Opon Kroma, 
echo we see all these people um uh professor frimpon boatin all these criminals um um uh, uh peter Mewu, john buedu these people and many of them charles bisu these people have to be prosecuted immediately these people have to resign from their positions mr president prove to Ghanaians that you are not being selective when it comes to tackling corruption we are not fools we are expecting you to take action why are you quiet on this matter Ekufuad, why are you quiet? Is it because you are the head of this criminal enterprise? Is it because you know what is happening? Is it because the 14 kilos of gold uh, Charles Bissu brought to the presidency? Is it because you know about it? Mr. President, is it because you are receiving cuts from these criminals? Because we heard that the Gala Stop or Galamse campaign or whatever was a decoy, was created just to make money for the MPP government. For the MPP party. President Kufo, if you have heard this, I'm telling you. If you have not heard it, I'm also telling you that this is what they are doing. This is what they are doing. They are destroying the party. Kojon Pioni, they are destroying the party. Afoko, they are destroying the party. Um, 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 Anane, they are destroying the party. You people will not have a party to live for your children and grandchildren to speak of. You people have become cowards. From what I know, typical Ashantis are not cowards like you people. You have made this achim people to put fear in you. You can't speak to the issues. What is wrong with our party today? What is wrong with this president? This president is not a leader. This man is sleeping on the job. This man has to be shown the exit because he has not shown that he has what it takes to fight corruption. We voted for Ekufuado because we thought that he was the person he was. But Nana Kufuado was just an alata seminar packaged like sunlight. Ekufuado, you are Alata Semina, and they packaged you and gave you to us as sunlight. We never knew that you are just an Alata Semina. With all due respect to the Alata Semina makers, I beg you people should, 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 should work more on your packaging. Chairman, Chairman, this Chairman Untumiga is my problem. This guy is my problem. And we sit and every day we are wearing suit. We are the party of intellectuals. We are not party of intellectuals. We are party of sycophants. We are party of sycophants. So it is simple. Mr. President, the same way you were interested in the Airbus issue, the same way you were so vibrant, the senior ministers, the same way the, 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 the majority leader, you are interested in the Airbus, why are you not interested in this? You selfish... You are selfish. Very selfish. We voted for you as a leader to go and lead us and speak truth. You are being selective. Today, you are begging Ghanaians to vote for you and put you back in parliament because of greed. And the people in Kumasi, if this is what you are going to vote for, I pity you people. His constituency, I pity you people. This man is a, is a working contradiction. He's selective when it comes to corruption. Today, he's hopping from radio to radio, attacking the Airbus, which I support. Everybody has to attack. Why is he not speaking on this criminal thing, this Galamse scandal? Why is Chairman Sabos quiet? Punching neighbor, punching tree at your at your right? These are the people we call leaders in Ghana. These are the people we call leaders. They have no credibility. These people, they choose and pick. And we are sitting in Kumasi, we are sitting in, in MPP strongholds and saying, these men are our men, they are going to fight for... These people are selfish, they are fighting for themselves. This man, can't you people see, or say Chairman Sabonsu is a greedy man. Being in parliament for over 20 years, you cannot stick your head out for your people. You only stick your head out and speak truth when you know it's the opposition. But when your own people are stealing, your own criminal friends are stealing, you can't come out and speak the way you have to sp you speak, you spoke against. And this is the man you want Ghanaians to hand over our parliament to? This is the man you want Ghanaians to? And people in Kumasi, people in his constituency, I'm talking to you one more Kumasi, the water bodies are being destroyed. The water I'm telling you today.
this man is greedy. This man cannot be a leader because he's selective. He doesn't know what to do now. He's going around talking about Airbus, which I agree. Why is he not talking about Galamse scandal today? Why is Osei Chebe and Sabonsu quiet on the Galamse? You people should catch this and send to him. Mr. Man, why are you quiet? You are greedy. You just want power. You are selfish because you are power drunk and you want to hold on to that. And I'm telling your constituencies that you are not somebody they should vote for. Because you have deceived us. And we gave you power because we are stupid. My fellow Ghanaians, I'm going to end this show. I've done over two hours, and I know by now everybody understands the point. Everybody gets the point now. I'm going to open the phone lines in the next two, in the next minute, and I'm going to take a few calls and end the show. The number to call is plus one, two zero two seven five one eight seven six nine. Plus one. Two zero two seven five one eight zero eight seven six nine. It's a WhatsApp line. It's a WhatsApp line. We have a, a specific reason for using the WhatsApp line. I'm going to call the number again. It's a WhatsApp line. Plus one two zero two seven five one eight seven six nine. If you're listening to me, you can give me a call now and also speak your mind. This is Laos Islands Radio and TV. Here we separate facts from noise. I keep telling you, a fellow Ghanaians. We have to speak up. We have to be ready. We have to speak up, irrespective of our political affiliation. We have to speak truth to power. We have to be ready. We have to be ready. We have to speak truth to power. If you're listening to me and you're watching me now, you can call this line. I don't know what's happening to the phone lines, but I know that the calls will come through. Sometimes we experience some weird stuff here. The number is plus one. 202-751-8769. Plus one, 202 This is the line to call. It's a WhatsApp line. It's a WhatsApp line. My fellow Ghanaians, I'll take some few messages on um, Facebook and on, on YouTube. Um, Kwame Nikoi is a top fan. He says, the fear of Mahama has turned them to be looters and thieves because they know they will lose the elections. Um, some wise Neil Amte says Anoche has started oh, the network. I know the network is messing up now. Don Favor Regal says producer the network spoil. Do something. Yes, the network has started messing up. We have our first caller on the line. Hello, caller. How are you and where are you calling from? Hello. Hello, caller. How are you? Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Greece. My name is Gafar. How are you doing in Greece? Oh. Normal. Good. Normal. Boss, you can choose to speak English uh, or to you can choose to speak Chi or English. Anyone you're comfortable with, sir. English. English. Go ahead, sir. Yeah. All I want to say is, like, just keep on doing the good work. Thank you, sir. Because who knows what you are doing? We know that you are doing a, a good job. So keep on doing that. I just want to encourage, uh, encourage you. Thank you very Don't much, sir. Don't get intimidated. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, thank you for the thank call. You very much, that was a call from Greece. He just called in to say, hello, caller. Hello, caller. Where are you calling from in your name? Hello, Kevin. My name is Habib. I'm calling you from Italy. You're calling from Italy. How are you doing in Italy? Uh, we are doing fine, Kevin. Right, you know the the happenings in Ghana is what's worrying everybody. Mm -hmm. I just said, President, to be a Daniel Crown for the Galamse or Moot to no Moot to no Moot to no Mama Ghana for a couple of books here. More Google banks. Kevin, it's very serious, eh? Yeah. People have borrowed money from these banks and what have you. And then they've bought ex excavators and what have you. At the end of the day, you go in the name of scam to clean up mess at the Galamse. You take all their excavators. You collect their goods, their guns, and everything, what have you. Everything. And you go and share among yourself. Why? And what, we are not speaking. What, what sort of country are we it. building? And Ghanaians are quiet. What sort of country are we building? And everybody is quiet. This council, you wake up and then you tell a political party, if you don't come and sign paper, you we will, we will campaign, campaign against you. you. Whereby you are seeing all these wars going on in the country. Nobody is talking about it. Kevin, time has reached that every Ghanaian irrespective of your political party, wake up and tell uh, truth to power. That's it. What Thank is you very going much. on? What is going on? It's a shame. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, Kevin. Thank God you. bless. 
Yeah, that's his opinion. He thinks that what is happening in Ghana now is a shame. And I agree 100% with him. What is happening in Ghana today is a shame. This is not a Ghana we all know. This is not a Ghana that our forefathers fought for. This is not a Ghana that Yasantua or say to um, all the heroes, Konfanochi, Kwame Nkrumah, all the heroes who lost their life fought for. This is a new Ghana, a Ghana full of corrupt leaders and criminals in power. How are you doing, Kola, and where are you calling from? Yeah, my name is um, Gormax. I'm calling from Worcester, Massachusetts. How are you doing, guys? Um, yes. Yeah, I'm good. Great. Yeah, so um, kudos to you and the crew. Thank you very much, sir. Um, yeah, so my take here is um, what is good for the ghost is good for the Ghana. Be we yeah. have all these locals lavishing in jail in Ghana. Mm. And we have all these Chinese folks and uh, these MPP criminals, the top um, gurus or whatever MPP, um, they give... Um, these guys the platform to do all this galamse, yeah. um whatever going on yeah. in Ghana. Um, my call to um, the youth in those environments, you need to wake up and speak your mind. Young people lavishing in jail should be released. Yes. And Every galamse person well. should be released. Yes. They should be released. If you're not going to give no them point. a total freedom, they should be serving the communities. They should come home and start serving the communities. They can serve the communities through that. And go see their for family. Real? Yes. For real. It, it's not fair. The way we are treating our people, it, it's just not, it's terrible. Why? Why? Thank you very much, that, sir. That's my, yeah, Thank that's you. My Thank day. you very Thank much. You. You're still listening to Laos Islands Radio and TV. People are calling from all over the world. The line is jammed. Sometimes I try to pick some calls and it drops. I know everybody's trying to get in to make their point. So I'll, I'll just like to tell people that if you're able to get through, try and make it short so that the next person um, can also come through. Hello, caller. Where are you calling from in your name? Uh, hello, caller. Hello. Yeah, where are you calling from in your name? Calling from Finland. My name is Sarah. Okay, go on, sir. Uh, you know what is happening in Ghana now? What we have to do is to use, uh, you know what is Akasha? <laughs> we have to use Akasha. Akasha, right? To watch the whole, to watch the whole yeah, place. Ejaye, 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 ejaye. Ejaye, ejaye, pipe one. It's poor, it's poor, it's poor, it's poor, it's poor. It's poor. All right, well, sir. there's hope for the future. So All right, all right. Pushing. Thank you very much, sir. Yes. Hello, caller. How are you and where are you calling from? Hello. Hi, hi. Hello, sir. Hello, my name is Anes. I'm calling from Leicester. Sorry, calling from where? England. England. Oh, okay. From Leicester. Leicester, right. England. Yeah. Leicester City, Jack. Your team is not bad, though, but we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it later. <laughs> well, Kevin, you know, I'm following you since you start since day one. All right. I'm that's good. Thank MPP. you very much. Thank my you very dad much. Is, my, dad, my dad was former. He was working for the Guzia uh, team to Egypt. Oh, okay. He worked with, with lawyer Otto. Oh, okay. Together. Yeah. So, I'm also, I was born, and I see that in Soma, I don't know if you were born at that time. In Soma, when I was born, I saw in Soma in my house. That means it's MPP. That is Buzia. Mm. Kevin, mm. what things mean is that when I see my own party, I own many a party, I own many a party, and they are party, and I am done it, and I will be more, or more. I'm a say party. 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 i am Thank you, caller, and um, we really appreciate your submission. You're still listening to Loud Silence Radio and TV Network. This is the extended version of With All Your Respect. If, you've, if you want to listen to the show every Tuesday and Thursday, you just have to go on YouTube and subscribe to our official page, which is With All Your Respect. With All Your Respect. Go there. That is the official page of With All Your Respect. You see all the current videos and past videos. You can also follow the show on with um, Loud Silence Radio and TV Network. You can also follow us on Facebook with all due respect page. You can watch our shows on Laos Silence TV. Everything you see on Laos Silence TV, my show, they are all playbacks. If you want to watch all the shows, the official shows, go on YouTube and subscribe to with all due respect channel. Caller, how are you and where are you calling from? Thank you. 
Thank you. My name is Ben. Please, I want to speak our local dialect so that Masa, people can hear local me. Local dialect is uh, correct, by Marinko. Me pacho me kasa free Spain, but se si e mi wo Italy. That the the woman say, eh, na me ye galam se operator. I me wo workers almost ninety, ninety workers. Na me ye kuma wo asante be kwai. Okay. Kuwa e free wo ekena se wo na na me wo. Okay. Do sa ko a yin niama politician say ya and no you collapse my kuma. Na na me share what is going on in Ghana. Now who can like me me can follow who can send you na say ye you to know obi ban na or text for insulting na or or can never be actually wa it me have me have say those people are like Obi wa wa asi asi say ye man o twenty cities so am fani dia ye enough man o yeah that me pen o my no mo dia any enka wo kura there is no need say over how that's it Asante be quite regional commander. Every week. Asante be quite. Every week. I bet you 20 million. Just not to come to. 19, 20 million just not to come to your site. On our site 20. Man, 20 yeah. million. Not on my bank Yeah, yeah. You have to say, 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 and to say, you have 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 to say, Thank you very much, sir. Sir, yeah, that's the power. Yeah, Thank you for your service. Hello, caller. Where are you calling from and your name? Hello, Kevin. Hello, sir. Yeah, my name is Gideon. I'm, I'm talking from Italy. All right, sir. Yeah, I just want to make one or two submissions. I just want to talk about uh, the excavators. We listen, sir. Yeah. Uh, yeah, what I want to say is if NPP uh, or the current administration, the government, they have insight or they have good things for Ghanaians. Okay. We we are in a situation whereby, uh, like, I mean, two or three months' time, Accra is going to flood by all means. It's a there fact. will be a flood it's a in fact. Accra. It's a fact. It's a fact. And people are going to lose their lives. And those people are potential voters. Yeah. So, my suggestion is if MPP or the current administration, we have even more excavators mm. than ambulances, yeah. they should fix our drinking system before someone dies. Mm. And it should be, as uh, we've been saying, this year should be a protest vote. If someone dies in Ghana, we shouldn't even bother ourselves to vote Votes. because we have as many as 500 and over excavators oh, and we don't over, have drain systems over, in Accra. Over, over. Are we serious as a, as a nation? Yeah. Hmm. Are we really serious as a nation? And as I'm speaking now, I think in like five minutes' time, one stupid journalist is going to interview Chairman yeah. to me yeah. in yeah. Uh, some kind of uh, good evening kind some of propaganda shit nonsense. Program. Yeah. And we are here in this country. Are we really serious? Kevin, let, let, let me just Thank give you way much, to another, Thank another, you another much, caller sir. because. Thank yeah, you very I'm, much. I'm, I'm hit. Hello, caller. Where are you calling from and your name? Hello. Yes, sir. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Uh, so is this uh, Kevin Taylor's show? This is Kevin's show. Um, where are you calling from and your name? Yeah, I'm calling from Virginia. My name is Alex. All right, Alex, you can go ahead, sir. All right, I, I just want to ask you some few questions. I'm, 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 oh. um, hello? I'm listening to okay. you, sir. Yeah. yeah, so I 
just want to know, are you an um, NBC supporter or you are an MPP supporter? I am an MPP supporter and I'm a Ghanaian. Okay. So this baffles me a lot bit because I have never seen any NDC supporter mm. coming out openly criticizing NDC mm -hmm. and challenging them and, you know, campaigning against them mm. that they should never vote N NDC. Mm. But you claim you are NPP, yeah. but you claim you are NPP, but you still come out regardless. Mm -hmm. And then criticize against MPP, mm -hmm. and then you make people not to vote for MPP. Okay. So I want to know what kind of MPP supporter are you? I am a legitimate MPP supporter who is rational, who thinks about Ghana before party. I think about Ghana before party. I don't think about MPP before Ghana, and it's simple. Okay. I I. Fair I, enough. If, if that's what you, you 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 claim you are, yeah, you say you just said that uh, are Ghanaians against Mahama. That's you you just said something like like that in your in your opening uh, comment. You said are Ghanaians against Mahama, or is it the NDC they are against? So I don't remember saying from that. What I'm you sorry. Are saying, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't 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 rephrase things. Don't put words in my mouth. Listen to me, sir. Everything that I say here, it's not because of NDC or MPP. Everything I say here, the basis is for Ghana. And I think you have a problem with me being an MPP and criticizing the NPP. With all due respect, sir, no. I don't think, I don't think that if your brother or sister is locked up for practicing Galamse because from Rawlins' time all the way to Mahama's time, they didn't create a job for them to do, and out of frustration, they got involved in Galamse. And the people who have, who who employ them to do the galamse have been have been let off the hook leave, and then my your brother is in jail. I don't think you'll be happy with that. Will you be happy? Of course, we all know so, uh, Ghana. The no, corruption no, I, is is bad. No, no, no. We I know guess, it's yeah, not good. So the issue is why I, your, why should I come here and defend the party that is condoning that? Is it because I am an MPP and I have to do that? I'm sorry, sir. That is not how I was raised. If I have to speak the truth no, I, to Ghanaians for the MPP to lose the elections because they didn't do the right thing, with all due respect, sir, I will do that. Thank you very much for your submission, and um, we expect to hear you again. Thank you, sir. You're still listening to Loud Silence Radio and TV. This is the extended version of With All Due Respect. We're still taking calls. Hello, caller. Where are you calling from and your name? Hi, this is Sani Kachet. I'm calling from Finland. All right, sir. We're listening to you. Um, yeah, as... As usual, as all the other callers, I would like to speak our local language. Simple. That's, for, that's, that's the best way to go. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Um, I, Pacho, I say, is Gavit first as some nana, I say, I can't hold some kasa. I'm going to try kasa. Now, as him we, I say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, the BM, the AM may start follow our program, the BM, but you know, some small, small boys do our own Ah, yeah, I said I recruit to only for attacking people on social media. Into Bano will be one of her. No, 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 Wait, wait, Nano. Say, who the can release? Who the can release that topic? Wait, yeah, over yeah. two, three weeks, and yeah. and 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 that I bow. Yeah. But tell me about in in Japan. Now, now what the Ghana now no would do at them? What the Ghana now when the video no would do at them to But oh. in in. Oh no, some of us are medical bills in the Yemen, and the in China. Very very shortly, very shortly, but. Yeah, yeah, you see, the BI, yeah, yeah, the Piper, Eddie Tower. Thank you very much. The BI, yeah, the Piper, Eddie Tower. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Uh, you still listening to Loud Silence Radio? I'll be picking um, one or two calls and then I will end today's show. Um, today's topic was about the Galamse, the criminals behind this Galamse um, scandal. I talked on the Konoro. Um, what, 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 producer, what is it? 
what virus? Corona, Corona. Uh, okay, I, I remember uh, when uh, 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 Corona Kwame came to Ghana. Corona Kwame, but this is the coronavirus. So, uh, producer just uh, corrected me. So, yeah, we talked about several things. We talked to some students in China who actually um, um, told us that they are not very comfortable um, of what is happening and that they would love to come back home. And when things are right or when China gets it right, they will go back and continue their education. We also discussed um, the Galamse issue. We're talking about how government um, appointees all the way from party executives, you know, the regional chairman, the Ashanti regional chairman, uh, is involved. The central regional chairman of the MPP is involved. Uh, Professor from Pontboatin is involved. Kujo Ponkroma, the information minister, is involved. Um, uh, 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 Matt, uh, uh, Uzi, I'm trying to get the names right. Somebody's on the line. Hello, caller. How are you and where are you calling from? Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Kevin uh, My name is Taj Dobi from Saudi Arabia. Uh, yeah, I'm, li I'm listening to you, sir. Yeah, thank you very much for your good job. Thank you, sir. In fact, to be frank, they stress that even Ghana, we need a youth, a courage youth like you. So keep doing good work for the mother Ghana. But I didn't say, like, to be frank, mm. since, uh, especially this week, I saw one time about the Ghanaian media. I saw one time about the Ghanaian media. We are all silent about the Ganamse issue. Are and they serious? are all putting their focus on the on the, the Airbus. Jet Airbus or yeah. other other. So I was wondering, like Major Kwame Chase, I'm so ashamed as a Ghanaian. To be frank, the Maji Bibi Kra. Just be a little bit. Yeah, yeah, just be a little bit, nah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. So what can two think about three Ghanaians? Hmm. Look at the Ganamse issue. Mosi Fu Bicha Padye. Musi yin yaj ma biko yi di bwa o my gana. No mu di bwa muan kasamu look at your common driver grabbing a police man. Up to now, no one arrest. So oh, sir, what are we oh. Oh, yeah, mo be in some Kevin Bidas. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Uh, no problem. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you very much. Uh, hello, caller. We have about seventy five people trying to get through this like seventy seven. Miss calls here. It's tough, man. I know everybody wants to speak, but it's not been easy. It's not been easy. 78 calls, 78 missed calls, people on standby, 78 trying to get through to speak on the show. I know that the, the whole thing, the network is jammed. I can't even, I can't even pick a call now. Hello, call. I, the whole, the whole, someone is on the line. Let's see if we can pick this call. Um, let's see. Hello, caller. Hello, bro. Hello, sir. Where are you calling from in your name? Uh, my name is Vincent Kingsford Bedu. I'm calling from Germany. How are you guys doing in Germano? <laughs> By God's grace, you are doing sir. good. Thank you, sir. you can go on with your submission. Can you do it nah, in one yeah. minute? I'll be very happy if you can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, bro, my son is short. or a short class. Yeah, yeah, short. Yeah, 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 short, man, brother. Uh, and the and the and the radio good. No. We interview mind be one man be also no um secretary for small scale mining. Okay. Ah, today I I go within our watching and I on the upper base. No, no, the base in our work. I go within our watching and the base. Present to be something. What about uh, from Pong? Whatever, whatever. Yeah, on yeah. Ah, no. Ghana Padel or Kata from Paul Manson, mm. but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But present a number of women who declare their massa. I mean, what's my more Bennington? I am doing or I'm Kevin Taylor, what's the worst? Now, what are you the modern? And the moment you're there, more Kata will be next in a market. That is the problem. As some as say, brother, what I tell you, this one I can all narrate. Issue no narrative issue today. From Paul, the old man need to unyashi. Now, mama, go within. Ana ede kebia ko ko sine do. Sasa se. Enti brother, masima adeno lo kona de. Yedamu mu mu bi mu yedamu asata de. Mu yezem na mu 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 tu adeno ase ame yemu masima tu. Yedamu asata yami 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 yami
Yeah, the line is blazing. Um, yes, I have to end this show. Gosh, we have over 110 calls, and they are all on, on the sidelines trying to get through. Hello, caller. How are you? And where are you calling from? Hello? Hello, caller. Can you hear me, sir? It hurts when somebody tries to get through because there are about a hundred and something people online, and when they get through and the network is messing up, I it hurts me so much because it, it, it's it's oh man. Hello, sir. Uh, call dropped. I think somebody just came through. Hello, caller. Hello, Kevin. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Please, where are you calling from in your name? Yeah, my name is Joe. I'm calling from Leeds in UK. Okay, Leeds United. Okay. <laughs> Set, go on yeah, your submission. Yeah, United. Yeah, <laughs> yeah um, thank you very much for the opportunity. I mean, some of us, we can only thank God for, for your bravery and, and your courageousness, you know, the way you, you are sir. bringing thank out you. all. Yeah, um, you see, some of the problems we encounter, and as you rightly said, and I, I commend you in all aspects, and those of you who are saying, you are insulting people and all that. Oh, forget If that. someone is stupid, he he's needs stupid. to be told he's stupid. Yeah. Yes, even Jesus Christ, who created heaven and earth, uh, calls some people foolish. Yeah. So if you are if you are a father, or if you are 99 years, and you are doing a thing of, uh, or that commands you to be called a stupid you have to. person, we yeah. should say it. Yeah. When people are there, Instead of, I mean, I mean, using the 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 the, the level of whatever they've got to to have influence in society, and they are refusing to do that, we need to give them the the due uh, uh, names that they are supposed to be called. So nobody should be discrediting you and saying you insult people or whatever. Ghana is full of stupid people. A lot of them, majority of them, from the presidency to the 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 the, the very opposition, full of stupid people. Kevin, thank you very thank much. You, thank God you for submission. You. Thank you, Leeds United. Um, you're still listening to Loud Silence Radio and TV. This is the extended version of With All Your Respect. I, 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 it hurts when I have to end the show. But as you know, on Tuesday I'll be back. But on Sunday I'll be releasing the episode, um, uh, an episode on the bar and the airbus. On Sunday. I'll be releasing the episode on the Airbus. What I want to, I want to take five minutes to explain a few things to you guys. Um, that episode is going to be about the Airbus. Now, there's going to be another twist to that story. I'm going to bring out some documents. And this episode is actually dedicated to the president. And I expect the president to listen to this episode very well. If you know anybody who is close to the presidency, if you know anyone who works in parliament, any parliamentarian, if you know anybody who works in the, in, in the judiciary, I would like you to take a piece of that video and send to them because I expect that in the next 24 hours, the president will take action after that episode. I expect Nana Adodanko Ekufuado to take action after that episode. The Airbus episode is going to be on Sunday. I'm going to release some documents. I'm going to release with names and facts and let the president have them. This is a serious episode. On Sunday, do not miss this because... You know with me, I take my time. The team I have, they're very smart, intelligent people. We take our time to make sure that we serve you with the right stuff. On Sunday, I am going to come up with the Airbus episode. It is going to cut throats. It is going to need immediate action from the presidency. That episode will need an immediate action from the presidency, especially the president. He has to take action Swift action like he took when the Airbus scandal broke out. The president should not wait more than 24 hours to make a move or to take action on Sunday's episode. My fellow MPP friends, my fellow Ghanaians, this episode is going to turn the tables. This episode is going to turn the tables. I'm going, to, I'm, this is not the episode I'm going to be like GO1, GO2. I'm going to reveal names of people who were involved in other stuff. The president should take immediate action because this does not come with code names. This comes with findings, recommendations, and this comes with solutions. 
My fellow Ghanaians, we are not here to joke. I keep telling you people, Kevin Taylor and his team, we are not here to joke. If you want to be part of the family, with all due respect, it's a non-profit platform. We have held this together from our own pockets. We don't want to take money from any politician. We don't want to take money from any uh, a, a, a business. We don't want people to come on air, on social media, and say that we donated this, we gave Kevin Taylor this, and he's a corrupt. We don't do that. There's this platform called Patreon. P-A-T-R-E-O-N. P-A-T-R-E-O-N. It's a platform where we have set. This platform, you can go there and subscribe. The difference is simple. When you go there, there are three options. There's a $10 a month, a $25 a month, and a $100 a month. It is simple. If you subscribe to a $10 a month subscription, what you get is on Sunday, like I'm about to release this serious scandal, you will get the video 24 hours before anybody gets it. It will be dropped to you secretly, and you watch it before anybody. If you subscribe to the next stage, which is about $25 every month, what is going to happen is you are going to get the video. You are going to get the documents from me, Kevin Taylor. I'm going to send them to you to see the real documents for you to access it. The next stage, which is the third stage, what is going to happen is you will get to talk to me directly. You will get to speak to me. You will get the video. You will get the documents. And you get to speak to me to explain things to you behind the scenes. This is a platform and we need your help. Let me tell you, this has gone on till now. If somebody tells you they don't want to do it, I know there are people there who are ready to help and push this cause. Go on Patreon.com, Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N, and look for With All Due Respect. With All Due Respect. Basic, you can subscribe a $10 subscription every month, $10, and you push this cause. We are taking this country from our enemies. We are coming together as a minority. We are coming together as citizens whose voice have been taken away from us to recalibrate this country, recalibrate the system, and make sure Ghana works. If you want to help with all due respect, if you want to help this cause, go on Patreon.com and subscribe. $10, $25, and $100. We don't want to be involved with any politician. We don't want to be involved with anybody who has links to politicians to later come and say that they have infested this business or this, this movement. We want to deal with the family, you, the person who wants to hear the truth each and every day. Ladies and gentlemen, I've always said to you, my fellow Ghanaians and my fellow Ghanaians, that I am just a messenger, a messenger without a Quran or a Bible, a messenger without a New Testament or a Quran in my hand, a messenger who is ready and willing and steady and very, very focused, a messenger who will die for the truth. My fellow Ghanaians, this is a religion. This religion stands for truth. This religion is the religion that is going to change this country and put us on the right track. This is the religion that the people who want to hear the truth join. If you hate the truth, do not join this religion. My fellow Ghanaians, I am here to serve you, and I know you are here to listen to me. We will speak truth to power, and we will take this country away from criminals. My name is Kevin Ekobedu Tela, a Ghanaian, very, very, very strong MPP person. And I tell you, my fellow Ghanaians, focus. What do you focus? You get to the last cent. This is without your respect.